What is up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome. It's good to be back. It's good to be back, and it's good to be done with this sickness. I'm sure you guys can still hear it in my voice a little bit. Let's go ahead and start this group. All right, I'm gonna need to use somebody's lockout, by the way, since I am saved. What's up, nerds? How you doing, man? Let's hope to upload and everything is going through right. See, the stream health is pretty good. All right. All right, the group is up. Let me get over to the summoning stone. Mythic Prot Warrior Tank Senpai. There's there's not that many mythic prot warriors. I've been I've been seeing that. There's just they just don't exist. Prot warriors prot warriors are dead. Glad I didn't wipe in real life and I'm still alive. Dude, it was like it was like a solid week of this flu bug trying trying to make me wipe. It tried, man. It really did. Glad I'm back. Yeah, me too, Paolo. Me too. It's been uh, a week and a half, a week and a half of live streams since last Wednesday. What's up, STL? How you doing, man? Let's head on over to the Summoning Stone, and if you guys are ready to apply, it's just called No More and Taurus Fresh. I'm going to need to use uh, somebody's lockout. But if you guys want to join, go ahead and join in. What's up? What's up, Invasive? What's up, Ghetto Blaster? I mean, Ghetto Blast in. You're going for your third CPT, sir? Oh, damn. <laughs> See you later. See you later, Glock. Good luck, man. Good luck. What's up, Demon Hunter? Is there static on the mic? I hope not. Is there static on the mic? You here for the party? Dude, join in. Join in. Let's invite a little bit of deeps. Oh, there is a little bit of static? Oh, hold on. Let me reset this. Let's see if that makes it a little bit better. You also hear it on your mic? Have I got my trinket yet? Dude, Paolo! So much has happened. So much has happened. Look at this, guys. Look at this. 980. 980. Got that 980 trinket. I still need a lot of upgrades from, like, Tomb. And I did Tomb this week. I, I tried to run in there and, and try to get some upgrades. Didn't work. But I, I finally did get my Pantheon Trinket. Got it up to 980. Uh, what else have I gotten? Um, I think this belt, and I think that's it. Nothing else too crazy. I've gotten a bunch of other gear that I can't use because I'm locked into this tier set. But this tier set's working out for me. Also, also something that happened yesterday that I'm very excited about. Look at that, guys. Look at that right there. Is that is that a mythic kill for this expansion? These these are these were done way after the fact. These weren't current content. But that's a mythic Rothi. We walked into Mythic yesterday. Alright, let me lower the mic a little bit. That should help the threshold of the mic. I hope it's not as uh not as bad anymore. I saw I was I was going over the levels actually. 
All right, if you guys are going to be applying, let me know so I can invite you guys because there's a lot of um, other people in here. But I want to get you guys in here first. And my mic is popping. It should it should be a lot better now, right? Let me lower that. Yeah, it should it shouldn't be popping anymore. About to be home, log in to get to the raid. Nice man. You got Mythic Rothy last night too. Nice man. Thank you. Thank you guys. There we go. I see nerds. You almost got hounds down too. We got hounds down to about fifty percent. It was a uh, it was a good learning experience of of trying to see how how much we were gonna get in there. So yeah, fell hounds. Fell hounds were about halfway, you know, halfway down. Learning, learning the uh, positioning, learning how the movement, and then uh, the tank swap was that was around the time where we started wiping, like where the tank swap happened. So I'm gonna need a little bit more practice with that tank swap that happens on Mythic Fell Hounds, but everything else was uh, was pretty good. We got we got we got movement by the end of it. Alright, if you guys are going to be joining, just let me know. Thank you, thank you, Gretel Mythic Rocky, thank you guys. Sounds like there was a loose connection. Yeah, let me, let me reconnect it. All right, I hope that's a little bit better. The swap was killing us. Best pull was down at 11. Dude, that's nice. That's almost a kill. That means you got it next time. You just got to be a little bit careful with the um, the fact that you need to kill them within 15 seconds of each other. You were able to solo Mythic BRF for the first time after the buff? After the buff, you can uh, you can solo it now. I would have thought you'd been able to solo it beforehand. Get to have me back, thank you, Zeke. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. A lot better. Spoke too soon. Oh man. Oh, by the way, guys. For the sponsors out there, I put a new emoji in here. Let me know what you guys think about it. I can make it a little bit bigger if need be, if you guys can't see the details in it. But these are our three emojis now. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the orange Jesus? You guys let me know what you guys think about that one. Uh, let's get a mage in here for a lust. What's up, Mr. Ham Banana? How you doing, man? They took the mind control mechanic on Blast Furnace out after the patch. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did make a few changes because they buffed a few of the HPs. I know, like, Shop Pride got a few changes because that got some people upset, too. You don't think you're going to be doing 5-man next week? It's going to be horrible, skittish, necrotic, and tyrannical. Is that what it is? Let's see. Um, teaming necrotic tyrannical. Oh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That's another one of those weeks. It's a, it's just it's a nine out of ten. That's a nine out of ten week. Yeah, that is that is pretty bad. Katie, are you gonna be joining us today for healing? By the way, you got your fifteen last night. Finally, nice man. Congrats, Max. This one says, hey, is this one of you guys? Buzzmeg? Trying to see if we're going to fill out the rest of these DPS ranks with you guys. Yeah, you can. You can. All right, cool. cool. Uh, let's invite this healer and DPS combo. 
We're going to need a few more DPS. I know Zeke said he's going to get on. Uh, Ghetto Blasting, are you going to get on? And who else? Who else? STL, I think you still have a suspended um, account. But if you would like to reactivate and hop in, let me know. Pro Heels. <laughs> You did an upper 16 on your Monk 3 chest. The raid leader didn't trust you, but proved him wrong. Nice, man. Nice. It's always it's always a good feeling proving someone wrong like that. You can't join yet, at least. Work, work. Do I need a lock? White boy, we need whatever we can get, man. Queue up, queue up. I'll, I'll invite you, man. Can't, you're poor. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You could you can grind it out via gold, STL. Grind it out via gold. Get some herbalism, get some alchemy. That stuff sells quick. Oh, we are doing the WoW token giveaway too. Let me hold on, let me let me set that up as well. All right, just doing a little bit of quick math here to make sure that the that we can get the wow token going. Okay, so if you guys type in the word giveaway at any moment right now at three fifteen p.m., the winner will be announced, or maybe like three thirteen. But you guys can type in giveaway starting right now and you guys will be ever able to enter that giveaway uh is this any of you guys uh is this is this you by the way white boy flork your shard is 100 percent raider io if you don't have 4200 <laughs> that's ridiculous man Highest key you've ever done is EOA plus 18. People want to buy for higher ones? Yeah. In order to get into higher ones, you need a really high score. Almost could have done an 18 Dark Heart Thicket last week, but didn't use defensives. Ouch. Ouch, it sucks, man. You did a 17 EOA. It's your highest key you've ever done. Nice, man. I think the highest key I've ever done was a 17 as well. It was uh, Nelvarian's Lair. It was a while back, though. It was a while back. Um, by the way, Hooves, I'm going to make you lead since you have a fresh lockout. So if you can reset the dungeon for me, that'd be great. And we can invite a few more DPSers as well if anyone else queues up. We'll start, we'll start getting summons going and stuff. The group is filling out pretty well. Mind Slaver, is that you? Why I know you said you wanted to jump in here. Keldan, Keldan. Ah, oh, okay. I don't see you in here yet. <laughs> or else fail. Oh, man. All right, we're getting summons going here. We can invite a little bit more DPS as well. Let's just invite a few more DPSers. Your computer's being a jerk. You'll be on in a minute for sure, man. For sure. Wow token JavaScript. Wow token prices, I think, are going to go up soon, guys. I think they're going to go up soon. There's a ton of data mining for BFA. 
and it's been confirmed that the uh, friends and family beta is going to be starting soon. So I think pre-orders, pre-orders are coming up, guys. So the WoW token prices, I think, are going to go up. And then speaking of Raider IO, I actually bumped up my score recently. There's not a lot of warrior tanks, guys. There's just there's just no love, no love for warrior tanks. I bumped up my score and I hit what is it? Uh, number four in my realm, number four warrior tank in my realm. Not bad. All right, is that everyone? Is everyone here? Let's see. Uh oh, can't click that. All right. Uh, he's inside. Uh, he's he's nowhere near here. Uh, let's see. They're inside. They're inside. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. You've been leveling your new shaman. And you do like the zone scaling? Yeah, I've been I've been getting on my mage, as well. I have a 78, maybe I hit 79, I have a mage in the 70s who I've been leveling up through uh, Burning Crusade as well, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. I I went out to uh, to an area to AoE, I must have pulled like 12 or 13 mobs, it was right when the patches went live, when the patch went live. I must have pulled 12 or 13 mobs, and I went down, and I was like, okay, all right, I gotta, I, I can't just face roll AoE grind anymore, so I, I have to know what I'm doing. All right, let's run in here. Just applied, I'll take a look right now. Glad I'm back, missing you last week, yeah, man, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm back too. It's a lot better to be back than to be as sick as I was. Alright, we got some mage food. Let's start clearing some stuff. Let's start clearing. We've got enough people in here to start start this. But yeah, I've been I've been doing some keys, trying to get my mythic my mythic plus score a little bit higher, and um, now I need to, I need to work on it a little bit more now. Uh, next week is gonna be very difficult, so maybe this week got to get a few more keys done. Like last night, I did a cathedral fourteen because that was one of the ones I needed a, a higher score for as well. Also, if you guys are interested, I am in the Discord right now as well, so you guys can. Hop in the Discord, so if you guys need to know anything about a boss in real time without the stream delay, you guys can hop in that Discord and chat uh, chat it up with me. The mic is killing me, bro. Dude, I'm sorry. You notice Wednesdays and Fridays aren't the same with your content. It's like a gap, nothing to do but grind. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I was just, I was just like, just a, a ball of sickness. It's like, it's like that sickness where you don't even, where you can't even think straight. You're just a bunch of mind fog. And yeah, it was just, I just, I just needed to, needed to take some medicine, keep hydrated, sleep it off. The mic is killing me. Yeah, dude, like, um, this is, this is the mic I've been using to stream. The other headset I have, which is this headset right here, is just, it doesn't cut it for the stream. It bleeds in whatever music I'm listening to. Um, and then my other mic, you can hear the keyboard pressing on it. So what I'll, what I'll do is this weekend, I'll do that. Um, I'll build the arm for this, uh, for this Yeti mic to see if the boom arm will minimize the impact of like the keyboard presses and you guys won't be able to hear it. So I'll do that this weekend. I'll get on it. You can always uh, tell contact us to get you higher keys. For sure, man. It's no excuse. Even if even if you die, <laughs> you don't stop streaming. 
Ah, <laughs> just wait for the B-Res? Man. You guys are hardcore. You guys are hardcore. You don't you don't need any NyQuil. What you need is to stream more. Paulo, on the on the plus side, now we can say when when whenever we're gonna roll on something, we've got RNG Jesus to pray to right here. Beware. Are uh, we missing some people? Yeah, we're missing a few people. Oh, we have a uh, warlock. Let's see. Oh, they're on it. The locks are on it. Okay. Alright, Jesus, the god of plebs. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to change my levels and stuff for that popping, trying to make it better, but I'll get on to this weekend and build that arm. Then we'll look professional. Alright, everybody's here. Let's get a ready check going. <laughs> Lord RNG. What's up, wonderful? How you doing, man? I hope you are doing well. It's been a while. It's been a little bit of a hiatus. All right, waiting, waiting on Katie. Katie, where you at? Can you get in? For sure, wonderful. Um, actually, the group is still open. Um, so who, so whenever you hear this, can you pass? Uh, can you pass leads over? Uh, wonder, we'll get you. We'll get you in right after this. Let's just do a pull timer. Let's get this boss down, and we'll get you in here. Five. Four, three, two, one. Four. Looking for the raid? You don't see me? It's called Fresh Run. One. I'll uh, I'll load it up right now for you again, Zeke. Four, but it's still it's still up. Two, one. Four. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it on the screen for you again in a little bit. Right after this boss. Four. This boss is going down quick. Two, He's already at like seventy-seven percent. Very fast. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Dude, in, in Mythic, these bombs land so quick, there's no room for error. 
on the tank's part. Four, three, These things two, just fly at you. Alright, let's destroy the left gun. Everybody on the left gun. Oh, Zeke, let me, let me show you. It's just called Normal Antorus Fresh. If you type in fresh and two exclamation points, this might be the only one you see. Run away, little girl. Run away. I'm trying to see if I see any of your characters that I recognize. I don't see you. And uh, wonder if you also apply. Uh, it's just called fresh with two exclamation points. We'll get you in here. We'll get you in here for Fellhounds. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three. All of that AoE damage going out here. I'm trying to keep my rage up. No problem, you're chilling for sure, man. Can it be that LFR is harder than normal or the people don't know the tactics? It's Four, the people who don't know the three, tactics. Two. LFR is only more difficult because um, because of the, the, the feel of LFR. Half the people in LFR don't feel like they need to know anything in LFR. So half the Four, people that are... Three, half of your raid group is composed of like people that just don't care about mechanics. They're not going to do the mechanics. It doesn't matter to them. And then... Maybe about 5%, maybe like 1 to 2 people are AFK. They just don't exist. Four. You know, they're, they're just sitting in the back. They either sit in the back or they know a one-shot mechanic and they go, they run into the one-shot mechanic, they die, and then that's it. They just they just relax for the rest of the raid. They don't accept any b reses or anything. And um, yeah, the, the other half is, is people that do want to, but maybe they're on their alts. Maybe they don't push the same numbers that... that um, everybody else does or anything like that so LFR just LFR has a few issues but um, mostly mostly not not caring I think is the biggest thing that damages LFR and failure failure of mechanics because people are like it's just LFR I don't care I'm gonna stand in one spot I know in a previous guild that I was in uh, they would go into LFR on purpose to try to die like they would they would stand in as many mechanics as possible to see if the healers could keep them up. Alright, wonderful. Here's wonderful. I see you. And then I don't see Zeke yet. Unless you're on a different character that I don't that I don't know. Nuke him. We did it. We did it. We nuked him. Alright, Zeke, whenever you apply, let me know. It's just called N and Taurus, Normal and Taurus Fresh. Oh, there was, there was a flask? There was a cauldron? Alright, I'll go over there and get some. There's a cauldron, guys. There's a cauldron. LFR me doing 450k on my Boonkin alt. <laughs> Literally all your gear is unsullied, yeah. Although 450 is not bad. If everybody was pulling 450 in an LFR, it'd get done. You're on the Paladin looting? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know that tune. I was looking for either uh, Succubus, right, is your Warlock, I want to say. And then you have your Boomy, which I can't remember the name of your Boomy off the top of my head. But I was looking for Druid as well. Let's see, Cauldron, Cauldron. Where's this Cauldron? All the way at the beginning? Uh, I see it, nice. Alright. Thank you. Thank you for the cauldron. Hey, new to the channel, is this Horde or Alliance? FX Surfer. 
I am on Horde. We do a normal clear with the audience every Friday. For right now, I've only been doing my Horde tunes. I need to get my Alliance tune back to back to geared enough to be able to do this. Right now, my Alliance DK is uh, sitting like in mid 920s or low 930s, which should be enough for normal. So uh, we'll start Alliance soon. Well, we'll do one week Horde, one week Alliance. Oh, let me uh, delist the group now that you guys are in here. Lots of reverb. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna get this mic fixed. Um, this is this is the the better mic I have for the time being, for the live streams at least. The other mic I have bleeds in a lot of the music that I'm listening to. Basically, he's never gonna play with Alliance. <laughs> I find it a lot harder to gear up with Alliance. Um, my pugs seem to not be able to clear things, um, not be able to do high enough mythic keystones, so I don't know if it's just my luck in my particular shard uh, that I am on Alliance, because I'm on... Actually, I don't know the name of the, I don't remember the name of the shard, but I'm on Bronzebeard on my Alliance tune, and it just seems very difficult to do stuff. Alright, let's see. Is anyone... Is another pug going to lose its wings here? If I do a lion's run, you'd be keen to join? For sure, man. Right now, my only 110 on alliance is my blood decay. On horde, I have a boomkin, my prot warrior, and a holy paladin, actually, that I've been, I've been playing as well. But what's up, Christian? How you doing, man? Yes, I am back. I'm back from the sickness, man. Back. Uh, everybody's still running over here. We've got White Boy still needs to run over here. Alright, nerds, you'll be on uh, Shadow. There's nerds, there he is. You should come heal and we tank. <laughs> I'm not the best healer, but I'm not the worst yet either. Like the, um, the Holy Paladin Weak Auras. I told myself, I was like, I'll create my weak auras, I'll get better at healing, but I'm not going to put out anything healing related until I can break 1 million HPS at a certain point. And I do a lot better in 5 mind content healing than I do in raid healing. I noticed last night I did some, some uh, normal and Taurus raid healing. And let's do a ready check. I was pushing out like five to 600k HPS, but in 5 mind dungeons, I'll push out um, 7 to 900k HPS, so I mean, it's, I'm getting there. I still need to learn how to raid heal, though. Definitely need to learn how to raid heal. Doesn't help that I also don't have the right legendaries that are going to help, um, beacon, beacon my heals a lot better. Everybody's ready. Let's get a pull going. But yeah, guys, thank you for the food, the flask, the drinks. Five. Do the weak auras only trigger for tanks, the ones on Antares? No, they trigger for everyone, except if they're tank specific. Like, let's say it's the uh, exploit weakness in high command, for example, then they trigger only for tanks. But um, if we're talking uh, this, like even the smoldering debuff, you can get it from a, from a cleave. This this will go off for everyone. Three, Doesn't matter your two. spec or your whatever. If we're talking about like desolate gaze on this fight or something goes, goes off for everyone there's a few tank specific ones though i think i think i made the sites for argus tank specific as well um just because uh oh why is this person on this side three two one so yeah i made a few tank specific ones but for the most part like soul blight soul bomb soul burst titan forge um enr fellow fell fire whatever 
At King Garoth, uh, the smash is, is tank only. So yeah, there's a few that are tank only, but for the most part, most of them are for everyone. Like for King Garoth, they're, the only other thing you would want to track is a dot if you're doing mythic. But I didn't create the weak auras for, for mythic since I can't verify them. Like I can try to put in the spell ID and hope that it works. But since I can't verify it, I was like, I'd rather I'd rather only do the weak auras that I can completely 100% verify that they work. Oh, we're doing... I was, I was over here saving my Berserker Rage. No need. Let's face it, all the OGs started with Horde because they were young kids when this game came out. A much cooler choice. Yeah, so I started with Horde, my very first tune. I wanted to, I wanted to be a troll. Troll Mage was my first tune. But then everyone I knew in real life that was playing this game was Alliance. So I ended up going Alliance, and then I stuck with Alliance up until this expansion. No, actually, that's not true. Cataclysm, I went back Horde. Cataclysm, I went back Horde. But the large majority of the time, I've been Alliance. Except for this expansion. I went Horde. Because Hooves, who you guys know actually from here from the channel, Hooves was playing Horde. And he hadn't he hadn't played WoW in a while either. And he was like, I'm coming back to WoW. Let's go. Horde, this realm. So I transferred, went in Horde. You started as ally because of friends. Yeah, Hooves used to be a uh, paladin. I forgot what what realm were you in? I remember I remember like seeing your screenshots and stuff and being like, oh man, why has he got to play on that realm? Before before any cross realm stuff back in BC. Gargle trash. <laughs> oh man. Uh, my old realm is 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 uh pretty bad now uh it used to it, they used to have a lot of competitive guilds um but they all left all the competitive guilds left and i don't remember what server they went to because i i left at the end of wrath and they they server transferred um early kata where it was the first expansion uh oh wad was the first expansion that you started branching into the alliance do you also do you also do a lot of um, a lot of auction house play on Alliance or since it's cross since it's cross faction now do you just do you just do it on Horde Christian new class and BFA unholy paladin that'd be cool they're bringing back the corrupted Ashbringer I feel like the unholy paladin is just the just the DK right because DKs are resurrected paladins that are under the control of the lich king did anybody get them out anybody get them out uh i don't see them out i don't think people got them out yeah no mounts need repairs i'm all set You play Auction House on every realm you play. Money is universal. Nice. Let's go on over to High Command. By the way, guys, today's WoW token is completely sponsored by Christian again. Christian has sponsored, like, the last... The last... Oh, actually, on Christmas he gave... I mean, on New Year's he gave away four. So he's... Christian has sponsored, like, the last eight WoW token giveaways... Um, thank you, Christian. Huge shout out to you, man. There was a few months where I was like, oh man, it's, I, I gotta, I gotta get back to farming or else I'm just not going to be able to, to cut it. And then Christian stepped in and he was like, no, man, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll sponsor the wild token giveaway. So huge shout out to Christian for sponsoring the wild token giveaway. And he's actually sponsoring next month's already as well. So Christian, thank you, man. I appreciate it. You being you being a, a goblin has paid out in dividends for the community, man. Oh, someone's got a bone shard. 
You got the mount last night in LFR. Nice, man. I didn't know you could get that mount in LFR, to be honest. No idea. One of your guildies got Amanthul's on Tuesday. Still nothing for you, Ghetto Blasting? I feel your pain, man. I feel your pain. I had five upgrade coins by the time I got mine. I think five. Five or six. I can't remember now. But it took me a while. Now now I finally got it. And I'm, I, I'm so happy I finally got it. My ignore pains and my um, healing is so much better. Last week on, on Tuesday, actually, I got a... Uh, it's, it's really weird because, you know, as a tank, you don't think about healing parses. But I always uh, do pretty well in terms of healing parses because of... Uh, I don't overcap my ignore pain. Um, I keep a really close watch on how much rage I'm generating and how I consume that rage. So I normally parse pretty well. And on Tuesday, I actually parsed a 97 percentile for healing on Fellhounds, which Fellhounds healing, Fellhounds healing is insane. When you tank, you only care about healing parses? Me too, and it's really weird, because uh, I don't care about the damage parses as a tank, and you can't parse for damage taken, because I think it would just make people rotate a bunch of cooldowns and rotate like iron barks and, and like, you know, there'd be all sorts of cheese that could happen. So I, I mostly just look at my healing parses. If my damage taken is on par with that of a DPSer, then I'm okay. So I, I, I look at the damage taken, and my damage taken bar looks huge, right? My, my damage taken bar is insane, but the thing is, I ignore pain like 60% of that bar away. So I look at the actual damage taken after my ignore pains, and if, if my damage that I took was about as much as one of the DPSers, then I'm okay with that. But if, I, if I'm taking way too much damage, um, like twice as much or something like that as one of the DPSers, that's when I'll start investigating what I'm doing wrong, what I can block, what I can spell reflect, what cooldowns I can rotate in. But I'm trying to stress out my healers at least as possible. Like I just I want I want my healers to stress out about me no more than they stress out about any of the DPSers. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got someone going to the elevator boss. Who is that? Oh that's that that's hooves. That's who's playing with Elevator Boss. Your best before you went full-time Warlock was about 150k external HPS required on Viromothras Heroic as a Vengeance Demon Hunter. Nice, man. Yeah, Vengeance Demon Hunters can get some good uh, some good leech going, right? And that's how you get a large majority of your HPS. Like, oh, that's what Hooves did. <laughs> he got some more. Elevator boss claimed one person today. Leave me alone. That was funny. How can you check your healing parses? Uh, someone needs to be logging it. Someone in your run. Uh, be it a, if you're a guildy or if you're in a pug, someone needs to be logging it. And then once they upload the log, you can see the parse. So I'll, uh, I'll load it up for you right now. Let me get you the link, Pablo. There you go, Pablo. My mic is clicking a lot. Yeah, man. I, this this mic has been slowly breaking um, for a while, and I guess it's just finally done. So this weekend, I will uh, I'll get a, a a little boom stand for for this guy right here, so I can start using this guy now in live streams. The other headset I have really bleeds in the music when I'm live streaming, so I'll uh, I'll get that fixed this weekend. You should see my parses for normal. 
Why is it not logging your scores for normal? Uh, nobody logs for normal. So in my guild, I don't I don't log in my guild because there's normally two other people that log. Uh oh. Four, three, two, one. Not sure why they were over there. Uh, so I I don't log in my guild because there's normally two other people logging. But there's so see there's somebody logging from my guild in here, uh, in this normal run. But normally our normal guild runs, uh, they don't they don't log them. All right, we need to. Can we summon the last person? But yeah, it depends. Somebody has to somebody has to actively be logging. And I don't necessarily log all of our fights. I got I got very used to uh, some of my some of my guildies logging the fights. Where is it? All right, Warlock TV. Here we go. You have only less than 75 scores for Garathi. So the default, the default is uh, DPS. So when you just look at your, yeah, can you? That'd be great. Can you do that? It's all good. All right, so we've got somebody doing portal as well. All right, let's do a pull timer. Five. You use auto log now. Three. That's an add-on. There's an add-on that just like types in slash combat or slash combat logs or something. Three. I forget what the command is. One. I've got a little. I've got a little macro for it that I've got to press. When you get back to the stage, you'll make a character on Terralion, but only if you have a rating spot in my guild. My guild is actually on Dalaran, man. On Dalaran. I, I, I did a, a realm swap. A realm swap uh, sometime last week, I want to say. Maybe last week on the weekend. But yeah, my rating guild is in Dalaran. And I was on Terralion because that's where I went in the beginning of the expansion. But um, they've always been on Dalaran. But I, you know, if we're not doing Mythic... There was no need, but now that we walked into Mythic, I I switched Three, over. Two, one. You can configure it to log whatever you want. Oh, nice, man. Three, it's pretty cool. Two, one. After that mine pops, I'll go ahead and pop one as Three, well. Two, just so that we can one. clear the area a little bit. I think there's something wrong with the audio. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. A few people have told me that it's it's popping. Um, I've tried to reset all of my drivers right now. Um, try to reset the connection, and it's not working. So uh, this headphone has kind of been on its way out for a while. So now I'll just for sure get rid of it soon. So this weekend I'll, I'll set up my new mic. Three, three, one. Let me back up a little bit here. But yeah, sorry for the quality, guys. I'll uh, I'll get on it this weekend. Make a boom stand for my for my other mic so that it the quality can get better. Uh, that bubble might be a little early. You go to Dalaran, no issues. Got a new level. Yeah, and in fact, actually, I really like the new level too. Just as a as a as a side note. All right, I gotta move this guy over here. We got the other bubble over here. Thanks for the Antares Weak Orders video. You installed it, you give it a shot. Yeah, man, for sure. They were a little bit delayed because I kept trying to get these Coven ones up that would trigger 
whenever um whenever the different aspects of coven or the different the different members of the coven i guess would be the better way to put it whenever they would start a cast time i wanted a week or to pop up by reading the combat log and it just it just wasn't working out for me i was also trying to use spell ids as opposed to um names so that it could be international and it just it just wasn't working out Four, three, three, two, two, one. One. Let me see, let me pop this one right here. Oh, that's fine. We can use two on this one and then go back to just one. We need to get you uh, uh, working this weekend, Macro. Yeah, I didn't. These head, these headphones have been, you know, on the way out for a while. One, one of the, one of the ear pieces doesn't work. Uh, but at least this microphone didn't bleed the music into the live stream like my uh, newer pair of headsets. But nerds, nerds gave me a tutorial of how to attach the Snowball Yeti mic or the Snowball Blue mic onto uh, onto a boom stand, onto like a lamp stand. But I haven't gone out to IKEA yet. Uh, last weekend I was just I just wanted to I just wanted to recover from the flu. I was just on a steady diet of Dayquil and Nyquil, or Dayquil and Robotussin actually, but, uh, you know, that was that was my diet last week. Four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Can you hold for a little bit more, nerds? Alright, let's let's see. Three, Mine should drop two, after the next one. one. Let's get the Pyromancer down. If I can't get it to work, let me know you got a few spares. A few spare, like, headsets, or what are we talking about, Christian? Alright. It's a high command dead. Hey. That's my nice shoulders. 9.30. Let's see. Does anyone need them? Yeah, every every time you clear um, a boss with raid loot, you get a little bit of the group leaving. We got one person that left on that one. Yeah, it's fine. It was just a DPS, or we'll be good. Hope I feel better soon. I am. I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm feeling a lot better now. Oof, wonder. Ouch. Ah, oh, they burned your body. <laughs> no one wants a plate? Oh man. Mighty Cloth? I don't think Cloth is mighty. Headsets, they're Steel Series? Yeah, this one's a Steel Series too. But alright, Christian, I'll, I'll let you know, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, this one's a Steel Series too, but um, it's seen better days. Yeah, the other one I bought, what is this? Ghost Tech would not would not recommend. The music bleeds in. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't need it for transmog either. The, uh, the music bleeds into the headset on those. Like, if I'm trying to do a raid with my guild and I'm listening to any music, uh, it bleeds in. Wait, who was just talking right now? You're really low. 
on the on Discord. Who was it? No, there, I thought I heard someone else. It was just really low. I don't have overlay on. I couldn't tell. The only thing that can take down an undead warrior is the flu. It's true, guys. It's true. I can't will the forsaken that. I may have underwater breathing. Roll for what? Oh yeah, no, I think that's all just for baby, yeah. Let's see where's in there, here we go. They're good headsets as wireless, but wired you broke the heck out of them. <laughs> I used I had some wireless headsets at one point too, but this time I decided to go with wired. But I've had wireless, I've had wired. Um, they've definitely come a long way. I used to hate everything wireless because it had like a, a build. It didn't have a built-in delay on purpose, but you know it had a delay. Um, had a lot of replacement. A lot of things when when wireless first started didn't have built-in rechargeables, but now a lot of that has been fixed. So wireless has come a long way. Back 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 in the day when I played a lot of uh, Counter Strike, you would never dream of playing with a wireless keyboard and mouse. It just wasn't just wasn't worth your time. Wireless console controllers used to suck, that's why. That's true, that too. Get a Razer headset, works well. I don't I don't own anything Razer. That's nothing nothing against them. I just never purchased anything Razer. I need to look into their headsets. Everything Razer breaks after two years or so. <laughs> that sucks. We're doing Portal first? Yeah, we're doing Portal first. Fuchan. <laughs> I don't know, you love Razer, it's just a pain. Razer. Razer, you guys wanna sponsor me for the headsets for the for the headset plug? Razer, where are you? Get the analog one. Only razor you have is a colorful mouse pad, which is pretty good. Yeah, for my for my like extended mouse pad, I have a uh uh what used to be like a WoW trading card game playing mat. The WoW TCG playing mat. It's from, oh man, I think it's from the, when the trading card game barely started because it, it, it looks like a Burning Crusade. Tweet Razor with the fan sign. <laughs> Tweet Razor with the roast me sign, please, Razor. Uh, get the analog one, you don't have to use their software. Yeah, using extra software can get cumbersome. Had to get ice for your knee because you heard it yesterday. Now, what happened? When you said ice for your knee, I was like, alright, but what, what did you do? Alright, let me split up these groups real quick as well. Let's see. Let's split up. Actually, let me put the single targets in here. Sacred Shammy, who's our healers? Oh, we're two healing this. What happened to our third healer? Did somebody drop? Oh, yeah, somebody dropped. 
two people dropped. Alright, let me try to get another healer. Let's see. Let me list while I'm organizing the groups. And we've got Katie healing. And baby healing. Okay. That should be that should be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we need we need a healer. Let's see if we can get someone. Ten thirty on Tuesday. Time to change the lifestyle for a bit. You suffer from nerd rage. <laughs> That's a condition, man. That is a condition. It's like road rage. Oh, Demon Hunter started started the gym, starting getting healthy. Let me see if anyone has an off healing off spell. The pug life. We gotta try to get someone else in here, man. You were mopping and you slipped and landed on your knee. Oof. Knee injuries are not fun. Not fun at all. Uh, Sacred Shammy. Alright. Alright, let me put you... Actually, you're in the right group. So that's cool. Alright. Uh, Sacred Chami, you need mana. There we go. We got mage food. Dirty is just a starting demon. That's the end of the life tutorial. <laughs> That's the end of tutorial island, man. At this point, nobody's gonna hold your hand anymore. Uh, we got a feast. Everybody buff up. Hopefully we can find some, some heals. Alright, it doesn't seem like we're going to find some heals. We got somebody on their off spec. Maybe we can get someone for ENR. And if not, for sure by MNR. MNR we're going to need some more heals. Where's Brittany? Where's Brittany? Alright, everybody's ready. Let's get a pull going. Uh, before I type in this poll, yeah, no heals in here. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and drag Portal Keeper over here. Three, two, one. Be about to have that collapsing world. There it is. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my damage breakdown video, this debuff that Portal Keeper throws on you is basically like a bleed effect. It's physical damage ticking over time. So, be careful with that. Alright, time to go into the portal, guys. Portal group, let's go. Uh, who's going to carry the flame for me? Let's see who's in here. Wonder, Wonder, can you uh, carry the flame for me? Just go over there and pick up a flame at the end of this and walk out with it. Or, or Katie. Actually, Swamp is in here too. Yeah, either either Wonderful or Swamp, if you guys can do it. Uh, Katie's gonna need to go back and, and heal, so. There it is. I see Swamp doing it. Thank you. I appreciate it. There it is. Nerds, I got it. Yeah, it taunted right before that third stack. Three, 
Two. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Beware. Gotta go fast. Ah, oh, it's still right where the imps are. Sorry, guys. At least the imps aren't casting explosion. Three, two, Nerds? Oh, there one. you go. Beware. The end of the life tutorial. Hit 30. Alright, we're about to have that portal. So there's the imps. Let me move Portal Keeper across the platform so you guys can DPS the ads. Beware. And then jump right back on these imps. Three, they never saw it coming. Two, one. Beware. And then Portal Group. Let's go up. Uh, there it is, 60%. There it is. Alright, everybody in the fell portal, Three, stack up, and one. there's a fell silk wrap. What's up, everyone collapsing? Beware. All right, almost down. Jump down there before uh, before Nerds gets his third stack. All right, we're gonna have the transport portal for the imps, and then collapsing world right after. So that portal just landed. Uh oh. I ride right, it the wrong way. Sorry, guys. Two, so we got the one. imps up. Beware. Collapsing world right now. There it is. Three, two, one. Beware. Uh, I think Nerds is going to go into the next portal. The last portal. So there it is. We got the Imp portal drop in. We're about to have Collapsing World go out as well. Beware. Three, two, one. Beware. Oh, no. Looks like I'm going to be doing the last portal as well. All right, guys, last portal. Let's go. Ooh. Three, Looks like some people got hit by that Fellstorm Barrage. Where's our fire? Three, two, oh. one. Beware. Don't know where our fire is went. I believe the portal is right Two, behind me though. One. Beware. Ah, uh, there it is. Alright, get this guy down. We're going to have the transport portal and then immediately after the collapsing world, so I'm going to have to move out of the way real quick. Transport portal just hit the floor. There it is. Three, two, one. Beware. Sometimes when you exit that portal, up is down, the left is right. Three, You're all all two, messed up. One. Beware. So you've been watching Rex Toy and Paladins just need a lot of ads to solo thing. Oh, a lot of like add-ons and stuff. Or are you talking about in order in order to be able to solo a boss they need ads to be summoned? Did you see that one paladin that soloed Garothi? I saw the video because I, I walked in there and I was like, hey, 
if a paladin was able to do this, I can do this. So I walked into normal Garathi and tried to solo, but I got him down to like, I don't know, 80% and he enraged and just, you know, beat me up. And then I saw the video and I was like, oh, cheesed it. It's just because a paladin has heals. Yeah, that's Rex. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, um, he ran out to a specific area of the platform that doesn't get hit by the boss. And in that area, he would, uh, he just heal himself back up to full, wait five minutes for, uh, let me, let me get this guy. Oh, there it is. Somebody else got him. Um, he would heal himself up to full, wait for his, uh, guardian spirit, I think it's called, or ancestral, something like that, his 50% damage mitigation, and then he would jump in DPS for like 10 seconds, and then run back out. You tried to solo this boss? It's so hard. Are we talking about Yanar? I've been able to solo Chronomatic, Chronomatic Anomaly, and um, Nithendra. So those are two that I've that I've soloed already. But Scorpion um, got a little got a little difficult towards the end. I need to get a little bit more crit gear, a little bit more damage in there. Guardian of the Ancient Kings. There we go. A lock soloed this boss. Oh wow! How do you do it with all the destructors? It's crazy. This will be the last one for today, for sure. Wonder. Yeah. Once everybody runs in here, uh, can we get a warlock portal here? We got some warlocks in here. He nuked them. Dude, you have to be able to nuke really, really well to get those guys down. Because those guys hit ENR really hard, too. Alright, summon on the new guy. Corruption snares everything. Soul of the Netherlord just had to AoE dot and then add one. Nice. And he soloed it on normal, so no purifiers. Because with purifiers, it'd be a lot of bit intense. I don't get a ready check. You think you've decided on being a Zandalari Druid for BOA? Nice, man. You want to try healing, but also with tank? Uh, we got two people out. Or AFK, rather. Not out. In his solo, he normally killed them before the cast finish. Oh, the uh, the decimators here? That's crazy. That's a lot of damage. Oh, Zeke, you're stepping out, man. Zeke, did you have to step out, man? And yeah, the only classes that can heal and tank would be Paladin, Druid, and Monk. Yeah, Paladin, Druid, and Monk. You'd have to be one of those three. But if you want a new race, I don't think Paladin is going to be uh, any of the new races. Um, Druid has the trolls, and then Monk is probably going to be uh, the upright orcs as well. Alright, they are ready. Let's get a pull timer going. Trolls can't be paladins. Yeah, I don't think any of the new races can be paladins. I don't even think uh, High Mountain, High Mountain uh, Tarns can be paladins.
you'll be doing another warrior, your fourth warrior. Nice, man. That's a lot of warrior love. Back before, before like dual talent specialization or just being able to swap your talents whenever you wanted to, I had two paladins. Uh, I would raid as a holy paladin and I would play and PvP as a rep paladin. Alright, we got really good DPS here. We're going to have another one coming up here out in the middle. I think after this, then we have top out in the, uh, the back. Whoops. Sorry, Katie. I hit the wrong keybind. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I think orcs are going to remain the same, right? They're just going to go to the barber to get, to get their scoliosis fixed, I think, right? I think they're not going to be a new race. It's just upright orcs. You just go to the barber and you're like, hey, I want to have a straight bag. And your barber's like, I got you, fam. Don't worry about it. The straight razor right here, the straight razor will fix your back. All right, we're going to have something else happening, I think, middle and bottom right now. Yeah, we have middle and bottom. Just talk to your barber if you want a straight back. We got the obfuscator here. Get it down first. And then we're going to have a destructor on bottom. Um, bats should be coming up. Yeah, I see the bat portal open. You know, I have a question for you guys. If you guys out there play more than just a tank, um, what do you guys think is the hardest role to play in any raid? Do you guys think tanking is the most difficult? Any kind of DPS or healing? I'm just, just wondering. Because I was reading a um, a thread, and there was a few people saying that they thought tanking was absolutely the easiest role to do, and then it would be DPS and then healing. DPS is easy. I agree. I think DPS is uh, the most stress-free job in a raid group. Anyone that thinks tanking is easier than DPS is lulled. You know that's that's just what I was what I was reading in this thread. And figured I'd ask you guys what you guys think. I think in order for me it would go uh, DPS would be the easiest, followed by tanking and then healing. Because healing, you have to cover other people's mistakes. In tanking, you're you're very much the master of, of whatever you do, right? You get to position the boss. If if something is, is wrong, like if a boss is hitting you too hard, it might be your spec, it might be your gear, it might be, you know, certain things, but you're very much in control of tanking and in healing you're not. You have to uh, you have to heal people's mistakes. So I think I think healing is probably 
the most difficult one because you have to recover when other people fall short when uh, DPS and tanking are more independent. Healing, tanking, DPS. Okay. We agree, Ghetto Blasting. We agree. Depends on the level of rating. Uh, white Boy, what if we're talking heroic level? What most people are going are gonna to see, right? I think... I think the large majority of the player base is going to be see LFR just, just in general, but in terms of people who actually have a either a guild or they like raiding, I think most of most of those people that enjoy raiding are gonna see heroic content. Um so if we're talking heroic level content, how would you rank things? Let me uh let me trigger this guy. You rolled a two? What are we rolling for? Wonder, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Oh, nice rain. 940. What was that? Oh, that was wonderful leaving. That guy's still low, <laughs> low rolled. For out of out of one thousand, he rolled a one twenty five. You think it depends on what you actually do? You think tanking is easier than DPS? Well, as long as the DPS don't do your job for you. So Christian agrees. Christian thinks. So Christian, do you think tanking is easier than healing too? You think tanking is the easiest job? If you're forced to swap spe specs and you have to adapt, it's true. That's true. When I went boomy for uh, progression through uh, heroic TOS, it was hard getting accustomed to DPSing. Especially, I hadn't played a boomkin in years, so that was also a, a big, uh, a big thing that I had to get used to. Can we get a warlock portal? Tanking easier than healing, easier than melee. <laughs> no, oh, you're saying tanking is the most difficult, and then healing melee range. Got it. Hardest, easiest, yeah. Tanking got easier. You think tanking got easier? You were number five on the DPS meter for ENR. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, nice. All right, everybody's here. Oh, actually, no, not everybody's here. We got a warlock TV here. In some of the last two. Some people are lost. Thinking tanking is the most difficult. Okay. But yeah, when I was doing uh, Tomb on my Boomy, it was mostly just focus on my rotation and try to maximize every moment. Try not to miss too many procs. Try not to lose too much time moving. Move a lot of DPS while, while moving. So minimize movement. Get into a really good position. But I, I don't, I don't know. You think tank is the easiest and healing is the most challenging? Okay, so DPS falls right in the middle. If it was tanking when you have to keep aggro, oh, we're talking about vanilla? Yeah, man. Very different game. Tanking is only easy once you're overgeared and have good healers. Yeah, but back then tanking, ca yeah. Back then, tanking was a different ball game, right? It wasn't even a matter of how skilled you were. It was a matter of time. Because ag the aggro multipliers weren't where they are now. So back in those days, you know, you would have to wait. I mean, my name, right? Three Sunders. You'd have to wait for the Sunders to go off because that would help activate more more aggro from the from the tank from then on. Like, there was, there was certain things you would do for very specific aggro. And now aggro is really baked in and a lot easier. Now it's a matter of survival and gearing up and prioritizing your gear. Five, four, three, not all people can tank, three. right, but not also not all people can DPS or heal. Um, 
Like I I I like tanking, but I know that I'm not a good uh, melee DPSer. That's why all of my uh, PVE DPS classes are ranged because I am not a good melee DPSer. That's just it's just a fact. I am not. You play Boomy, Rustle Druid, and Barry feel Boomy is the hardest, really. Boomy is, is very punishing when we talk about Four, fights because movement one, movement hurts your Boomkin a ton. Unless you're running... I forget the names of the talent points. Unless you're running the talent point where if you drop a Starfall, you can cast it within that Starfall. But then you lose, um, you lose dots that have 100% uptime, right? So you need to watch those those dots and and refresh them. So, Boomy gets punished a lot when it comes to when it comes to movement. And I feel like Boomkin specifically has um, has a fault to where your cleave spec is completely completely different than your single target spec. And so, in order for you to do any cleave fight. You would need to respec every single fight. It's just it's just one of those classes that that gets annoying. Like in order for me to maximize my boomkin every fight, I would need to bring eleven tomes to redo it every boss. But I don't think I think that's just the case. That I think that case is is um isn't necessarily for every DPSer. I think some DPS classes just have their spec and their spec is can carry them through like ninety percent of the boss fights. So I think I think Boomkins fall a little bit short when it comes to that. They they have they get punished uh, a lot more severely than I feel other classes do. Everybody has an AOE spec and a single target spec, but I think it's a little more punishing for them. But then again, you've tanked ever since the Burning Crusades, so you're very good at it. Yeah, I I've been tanking since Wrath, and I'm very used to it. Like I can I can tank and and for the most part read chat and 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 not not have to look at things like when i when i tank i don't have to necessarily look at any of the bars that i have going right i can i can tank by feeling i know when shield slam should be back up i know what those you know seven seconds feel like i don't i don't need to necessarily look at this week or that week or i can kind of go by feeling but when i when i get on my holy paladin uh, even the holy shot can be on the same time as shield slam. It's it's so different. Uh, I'll I'll be I'll be trying to hit holy shock and I'll look at my bar and holy shock still needs one second to come back up again. It's it's very it takes that muscle memory of getting used to that timing again. Boom! Was super hardcore hard before Legion. Now it's a joke. I didn't. I the last time I played Boomy was during Wrath of the Lich King. So. I haven't played Boomkin in a few expansions uh, until this one. Oh man, people are running through everything. People went over every tripwire. Ah, oh. who put me to sleep? Who put me to sleep? All right, is everybody here? Yeah, most people cross the bridge. Let's go ahead and Three, two, interrupt this. One. You don't think tanking is the easiest though? Yeah, that's that was the the consensus yesterday on a on a Reddit thread I was reading. All right, let me taunt off. He's at four stacks now. You miss Sunder? I miss I miss Sunders too. I miss the um, the fact that you would have to bring a little bit of every class to like maximize everything. Like, hey, we're gonna need we're gonna need one warrior to Sunder, or we're gonna need a rogue to expose or something like we need a we need a minus armor buff uh we're gonna need our plus haste buff it can be a shaman with a haste totem 
it can be uh, I forget what other classes brought haste I think um, I think boomkins brought something or druids just in general if they talented into oh fairy fire fairy fire would decrease the amount of uh, hit you needed as well that would make your soft cap a little bit easier to to obtain yeah all, all of that stuff was was kind of neat Boom is the hardest, and then Bear, and then Resto. Okay. You do bring Tomes for swapping seven to eight times as a Warlock during raid. Do that. Aff uh, Affliction Warlock spec changes per fight too. Yeah, and, and I don't think everybody suffers from that, right? I see, um, like DPS warriors. I see like kitties. I see rogues, and. I don't see them change spec every fight, so I, I think there's certain there's certain classes and certain specs that are so dependent, where it could it and, and when I when I talk about being so dependent, I'm talking about a difference of more than like 300k DPS, right? It's it's a huge difference depending on what spec. Like if you go in and you're doing progression and you're barely learning a fight and you don't know what happens that fight, um, you could be pulling one mil DPS next time you walk in there you're like this is the spec i need this is the legendary i need you could be doing exactly the same thing and instead of one mil you're pulling 1.3 to 1.5 but not every class uh suffers from that For your warriors changes specs. <laughs> you use tomes like you use cured cups. I didn't I didn't know you changed that much. Uh Cody. You have 37 tomes on your affliction warlock. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I remember the first time I did kill Jaden on my boomy. Um, DPS was terrible, and it wasn't until I went like um, a little bit more cleave spec, a little bit more um, movement, something that I could that I could move with a little bit more that my kill Jaden DPS started jumping out after a chili competition. <laughs> oh, no, was in this one. Got it. Swamp. Yeah, I, I know. I know you <laughs> I know you swap. Oh, I'll get people to roll on this cloak right now too. Somebody just whispered me. I forgot I forgot to put it up there. People were putting up other rolls. Those classes give better parses for those that learn how to play them. That's true. It's true. Like every class is gonna benefit from being uh having specific talent points on specific fights but not every class is uh punished as as severely yeah i just wanted i wanted your your k oh that guy's gonna die he wants to solo soak purple Guess so. Oh, maybe he had a cloak down and he forgot. Alright, let me see if anyone else needs this cloak. Uh, we lost a few DPSers, but... Oh, we lost a healer too? Oh, we lost that new healer we had just gotten. Alright, let me go ahead and start a group. Oh wow, we got a 95 roll. All right. Uh, so here you go. We're splitting DPS. Uh, we don't have to on normal. Let's go over here. 
Thank you for the subscription, by the way. I appreciate it. I hope you are enjoying the content, despite the audio fidelity, or lack of fidelity today, rather. But I will be fixing that. Fixing that very soon. Alright, we need one more healer for this fight, for sure. There's a lot of AoE damage that goes out this fight. Purple, green, red? Yeah, purple, green, red. Do we need another healer? Oh, you're you're completely right, nerds. All right, nerds. Do you care which side you get, X or Moon? Do you want to get X? Need heals? We do need heals, Chaos. Why don't you hop in here, man? We do need heals. Alright, for sure. Look at that. I invited a healer right now and they said, nope, never mind. I don't want anything to do with that. We really need the, uh, hands. Oh. Who am I on? I'm on actually uh chaos oh. And he instantly uncued. I'm on my warrior, my friend. The group is just called this right here. Just and then Taurus can grow off. Every healer that queued up instantly dropped. By the way, guys, if you guys do want to enter the WoW token giveaway, type in giveaway at any moment. Let me uh, make that a little copy-paste for me. Any wipes yet? No wipes, man. No wipes. We are on King Garoth Chaos. Just realized you haven't had coins this whole time. Oh, for extra rolls? Alright, let's get a uh, Warlock Portal going. Oh, nice. We can get another healer. Let's pick up one more. Pick up another DPS or round it off. 2 4 12. We'll just we'll fill out the group a little bit more than we need to, just in case people keep dropping. Every time tier set drops, people drop right after those bosses. People are looking for specific pieces of gear. Seals like for AP? Yeah, I think that's what she meant. I think she meant those uh the seals. Oh, I was like, why is this kitty moving exactly when I move? Because I am the kitty. I can't hear you on Discord. Not using it yet. Yeah, man, we're on Discord too. I'm I'm on Discord as well. I just have different key bindings for Discord and for the uh, chat. Why can't I summon you? There it is. You're here now. Many wipes. Wipes incoming, guys. Wipes incoming. Oh, let me uh, make you this. Actually, we're gonna pick up one more DPS. Oh, I'll do it. Deep list. Oh, 
Uh, Chaos, did you get that summon? Oh, now I'm a warlock, I think. Yeah, this group should be fine. 2, 4, 15. That'll be fine. What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? I feel so bad now if we do wipe. If we wipe, it's going to be all your fault, Tulip. You're going to have to pay for everyone's repair bill. I don't know how much gold you have in your bank. But you're going to have to pay for a lot of repair bills. When do you think a guild is ready to start Mythic? What are the benchmarks? Uh, what I think the benchmarks are, are um, all of your healers need to be above seven to 800k HPS. It's variable depending on the fight, but I'd say your your three healers, and ideally you would have four healers, to be honest, but in heroic mode you mostly need three. But ideally someone has like an off spec that they can do decent at, but your healers should be pulling anywhere between seven to 800k HPS. All of your DPS should be pulling about maybe about 1. 1. 1.1 to 1. 1.3 million would be the average on a non cleave fight. I'm just talking about like on Karathi, uh, maybe Fellhounds if they're not affliction locks or anything like that, if they're just melee. So, bare minimum, your DPS should be pulling slightly above 1 million. Um, and your healing should be close, close to the 1 million HPS as well. Chaos, are you getting those summons? Chaos. To start, to start Mythic, 20 people and a love for pain? That too. You need to have people that also do not get frustrated wiping on a boss for a few hours. Maybe even more than a few hours. Because if Heroic Coven took as long as it did, um, I can't imagine stuff like Mythic Coven, Mythic MNR, um, Mythic, Mythic, uh, what else is going to be difficult? I think MNR, Coven, Agrimar, definitely a lot of difficult fights there. You think 1 million is needed for Heroic? For DPS, for sure, yeah. DPS, your DPS needs to be over 1 mil. Um, debatable how much over 1 mil, um, maybe about from 1.1 to 1.3, 1.4. What is up, Joe? Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Um, but your healing, your healing should be almost at that 1 mil point. They don't need to go over. Um, if, you, if, if all of your healers pull over 1 million HPS, then maybe some of your DPS are um, standing in fire. But... Uh, your healing should be uh, seven, eight hundred k minimum. All four of your healers. Can I drop a cart for swamp for sure, man? Let's see. Right in front of me. Oh, right behind me. There we go. All right, everybody's here. Let's get a ready check going. This Antorus group you were in earlier had 40 people. The more people you have, the easier it becomes. Honestly, that's the way level scaling works. It really does become easier. A lot of the pugs that were clearing uh, heroic at first. Uh, Nerd, you're going to go moon, you said, right? Yeah, nerds is okay. Oh, I accepted that summon. <laughs> How am I doing today? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. First time streaming in about a week and a half, so can't complain. I was I was sick with the flu, but I'm doing a lot better now, man. A lot better. I know I know Tulip was also worried because she hadn't seen uh, like my my Agrimar video was late, my Argus video was late because I've just I've been out, man. I've been I've been sick, but I'm all recovered now. Uh, oh, that got popped. Watch out, guys. Laser beam. Laser beam. How many people? Oh, two deaths. Two deaths so far. Don't stand on the tank. Don't stand on the tank. There it is. The apocalypse. Let's kill purple.
You were? You were very worried? Yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I was pretty damn sick. It was, it was that kind of sickness where you're just like, all messed up. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't do a lot of talking. Just a lot of like, uh, just a lot of cold medicine and sleep. Uh, let me get this guy. Come on. Nope. Not gonna happen. Uh, we've got the laser beam coming. Gonna go ahead and pop some of these orbs. I think someone's gonna pop that before me. Nope. Three, two, one. You've been having stomach pains today? Uh oh. Uh oh. Did you eat? Did you eat something bad, man? Three, two, one, four. All right, there it is. Go ahead and do a taunt off for that. When's our next apocalypse drive? Oh, we got a we got a little while to go. All right, let me move forward a little bit. Hopefully, nobody stacks with me and gets cleaved by that. All right, we're good. Let me go ahead and pop this. Where's some of the other orbs? They already go. Yeah, they're already popped. There's the apocalypse. What's up, Farseer? How you doing? Doing pretty good today. Doing pretty good. Knocking out this normal Antorus. Uh, I'll give you the, the copy-paste right now. There it is. There's the, the copy-paste for the WoW token giveaway, which is today. So if you guys are here and you guys want to participate in the WoW token giveaway for US clients, then you guys can just type in the word giveaway. Four, I unfortunately don't have like an EU client that I can also do a giveaway on. Beware. And I do think that um, WoW pre-orders are coming sooner rather than later. So uh, if you guys want to get your WoW token in right now for Bnet balance Beware. to try to try to have enough for that purchase. You guys should enter the giveaway. And this giveaway is completely sponsored by Christian. Shout out to Christian. Who wants to do a burger challenge with some of you guys. If you guys are in uh, ATL? Atlanta? Yeah. Hot Atlanta. Alright, when's going to be our next apocalypse? We got 30 seconds for another apocalypse. Right, let me just pop this orb as soon as it comes out. Forging Strike's gonna land on me. Uh, there's the taunt off. Let me get ahead of this. Yeah. Managed to get that orb. And I'll be able to go back right into position. We're gonna get another. A B res for who? Oh, we can use one. If you want to use yours and hers, we can. Whoa! Did you guys hear those sound effects? Something is messed up with my audio drivers. I'm gonna have to just look at everything. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Adyem, if you could type in the word giveaway without a capital G, that would enter you. Uh, it is case sensitive, that's all. Yeah, Christian has sponsored like the last, maybe like 8 to 10 giveaways on this channel, so, I mean, huge shout out to Christian. And he's got a Pug Life shirt. There's there's no merch and he's got a pug life shirt. I don't know how he beat everyone to the punch. He beat me to the punch. 
Christian is in it to win it. Three, two, four. Not an ATL, but now I'm curious, what is a challenge? Eighty dollars worth of burger for a challenge. It's got to be a lot. It's got to be like a maybe like what, like a fifteen-pound burger or something. Uh oh, you guys got to be careful. Oof. Two weeks later, you'll be doing a steak challenge in Texas, and a week after that, a burrito challenge Three, in Cali. Two, Man, Christian, do you follow um, this one guy who also does? He does competitive eating. He makes uh, pretty good YouTube videos, actually. Matt Stoney. I watch his stuff every now and then. There's a competitive eater, but every now and then he'll just like sit at home and make his own challenges. Uh, maybe consider giving him a watch too. If you like, if you're into competitive eating and into challenges like that, the that guy, that guy's intense, man. What's up from Indiana, Mr. T? What's up, man? Quadruple cardio bypass. <laughs> Come to the UK and do the roast lunch challenge. What's the roast lunch challenge? Speaking of the UK, the other day I saw somebody do a uh, a fish and chips at a pub in, in the UK that I think was like five pounds of fish. And I was like, that sounds like a delicious food challenge. Beware. The only thing is, I, oh man, this, this guy had his fish and chips and he grabbed the ketchup bottle and put ketchup on his fish. And I was like, he's in, he's in the UK. And nobody kicked him out of the pub for putting ketchup on his fish. All right, let's go to the burning throne. Uh, any other warriors in here? Oh, we have one other warrior. That's it, right? Just one other warrior? Yeah, I'll just send him a whisper. Coming to Boston, the chowder challenge. Hey, chowder's delicious, too. Let me adjust Iron Jesus while Nerds is over there just casually killing trash. Uh, where's this guy? Here he is. Congratulations to the warrior. Malt vinegar for life, yes, I agree. Malt vinegar. But, you know, some people like their tartar as well. Four 8-ounce patties, 27 pieces of cheese, 27 pieces of bacon, four pieces of Texas toast, 20 ones of french fries and tater tots each. <laughs> 27 pieces of cheese? That sounds like the most outlandish part of the challenge to me. It just sounds like it's going to be a sea of cheese with a little bit of ground beef in it. Although that adds up to 32 ounces of uh, ground beef, or 32 ounces of your patties. I'm assuming that's like before you cook it. We do fish and chips at the pub where you work at. The fish is bigger than the plate. Oh man, sounds delicious. I like me some good fish and chips. Last weekend, you've uploaded two videos. Both of those videos have songs with Eminem without me and acts like that. You can't do chowder anymore. Did you do too much chowder one day? Did you already do the chowder challenge and then you were like, this is it, I'm done, I'm going to tap out. No more chowder. You should do food shows as we game. You big in this? <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to start doing, uh, what is it called? We're going to start doing mukbang as we pug life through this just got a hot pot right here oh you're allergic you're allergic to shellfish I'm assuming Christian befuddled food I love me some food
yeah i think uh a lot of the a lot of the other youtubers that i like i choose so i consume a lot of youtube as well um a lot of the youtubers i watch food youtubers uh matt stoney does the challenges if you guys like to see people that like travel everywhere and eat a lot of food oh no put us to sleep um i recommend food ranger food ranger does really good really good food travel videos um he does really good editing um i like his commentary as well He's not afraid to go out there and, and just try all the things and give it a rating. Uh, sometimes I see like different food travel people. They 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 might be afraid of giving it certain ratings or anything. No, this guy gives it ratings. Does a good job with all his editing. Good shots. Eighteen pounds of loves of lobster and heroic coven. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, that's too much lobster. In the middle of Coven, I'd start getting the sweats. Review, bruh? I don't know, review, bruh. Alright, let's do, let's, uh, everybody buff up. Let me get some raid markers down here. No, let's. Let's not do skull, let's do moon. Uh, we'll do skull right here. Things you consume, food and YouTube. You're 160 pounds, but you can easily put down some food. Yeah, the dude, Matt Stoney, who I'm telling you, who does uh, food challenges. Dude is skinny. He is skinny. And then you see him just gulp down a ton of food. Ah, uh, we're missing someone. Uh, this guy logged off. He gave him the gloves and he logged off. Um, Is he lost? Is yeah, I think he's a little lost. Know any good fish and chip spots around us? Um, Summers has decent fish and chips. Uh, but it's also like really tiny and hard to find parking. But there's a bar called Summers that has uh, decent fish and chips. Um, I think that's really it for like decent fish and chips out here that I've had. I would need to really like think about it. Summers is the one place that comes to mind for uh, for hooves. You gotta check out review. Oh, report of the week. Yeah, I know report of the week. I'm running on empty. Let's do a ready check. Yeah, I watch report of the week. Sometimes his videos are a little lengthy. He's like 20 minutes, and he goes on. He goes. Com he. Oh man. The the funniest thing about Report of the Week is, I he takes breaks to like laugh at his own comedy, and it's funny. It's funny. He gets real weird and awkward with it, and then he'll laugh about it, and he'll be like, "We'll get back to the review." It's good stuff, man. Skinny people can eat more because their stomach can expand. <laughs> Your restaurant, but you gotta drive over to San Diego. STL. That sounds. That's, I mean, what what uh what theme are you guys cooking? Uh, let's do a pull timer. We're all gonna start over at Moon. Everybody's all piled up there. Varimathras never drops seeping scorch wing. I don't think I've ever seen that drop either, actually. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right. We've got nerds in here. He's going to be doing some funky AMS Three, business. Two, I feel one. it. I feel it. Four, three, two, one. Look at that. I think he did that Three, funky AMS two, business. One. That DK AMS funky business. There it is. Oh, I didn't put anyone on charges. I'm sorry, guys. Some of you guys are going to be getting punted across the room. Just got to run back. Three, two, one. Beware. You run for a hotel, take take your pick. Oh, okay. A little of everything. 
Look, STL, you put chicken and waffles on my mind the other day. In the in the, in the Discord, STL hopped in there and started talking about Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Which, if you guys have not been to LA, uh, chicken and waffles is definitely one of the things to have. I don't think it's gonna completely like change your life, but it's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. If you've never had chicken and waffles, put some syrup, put some syrup on your waffles and on the chicken. Beware. Definitely an LA experience. Some some people would say that I'm a treasonous, but I think chicken and waffles is more LA than In and Out is. But it's just me. Look at that AMS funny business. I saw that. Saw that. That was supposed to be a misery applied. Three, two. Must be nice one. to be a DK. I wish my spell reflected that. Give the boss misery instead. That'd be nice. Three, two, one. Beware. Three, two, one. Your wife always talks about that place. It's good, man. It's good. Yeah, chicken and waffles is good. It's, uh... Again, I don't think it's anything that's, like, gonna blow your mind, but Roscoe's does it really well. To the point where... I think my, my, my favorite part of Roscoe's is the fact that their waffle isn't just, like, a... Like, a plain waffle. Like, you can get a plain waffle anywhere, right? But their waffle... It's got like one. something in it. I don't know what kind of spices they put in there or what they put in it, but their waffles got something in it. Three, two, Just woke up though. Epic. One. Epic. Are you going to hop in here, my friend? There's room. There's always room for DPS. Every and every boss fight we do, Three, we'll lose like a person. One. So if you want to hop in here, Epic, just let me know. Roscoe's will change your life. <laughs> Get a Lord Harvey. Is a Lord Harvey uh, one of the biscuits? The uh, the buttermilk biscuits. Three, two, one. You're still traumatized by you guys having bacon on pancakes? No, tulip. Roscoe's the chicken and waffles is. You know, you gotta do it. You come out to the West Coast, you come out to Cali. Three, you gotta do the chicken and waffles. One. It's good stuff. It's Three, definitely a very sweet meal though. If one. you're if you're not into sweet meals, that with like a a sweet tea, an iced tea, something like that. Maybe one of their one of their like little special Three, drinks like a sunset, two, sunrise, something one. like that. Definitely a very sweet meal. Yeah. But very delicious. Three, two, one. Ground cornmeal? Is that what they make their waffles out of? Two, one. I mean their waffles are a, a distinct shade of brown. Like they, they put something in it. It's not just like a regular buttermilk Three, waffle. Alright, but oh, Ah, uh, yeah, they they've got good stuff. What is a grit? Oh, grit. No, you were talking about cornmeal for grit. Yeah, grits are um the best way to describe it visually. Um, ground cornmeal, but it looks like uh like oatmeal that you took to a blender and blended a lot more thoroughly. And yeah, that's that's kind of what it looks like. I'm gonna be resetting Coven so we can walk all the way across. There it is. Go, go, go. If you have a challenge, you'll try it. Bucket list now has about 30 or so restaurants with challenges. Nice, man. Oh, there's Epic. Uh, where's my Vari reset timer? It's weird, I don't see it. Half chicken with gravy and grits. They put chicken grease in the waffles? I wouldn't doubt it. How do you not know grits? They're got she's uh she's from the UK. They're they're different. They don't do grits. 
I'm going to reset again, by the way. There's somebody stuck on the other side. Invasive is stuck on the other side. Run! Alright. Let's get a uh, Warlock portal, please. So we can summon Epic. And then, let me put down some Raid Markers. Here's Warlock TV. Two Scourge Wings dropped. You gotta whisper those people, see if they can uh, get you that. Why oh, chaos? Why? If they aren't selling knockoff bags at the front, you're in the wrong spot. What are we talking about, Estia? Talking about grits. The one in the hood you can eat in Anaheim. Oh, we're talking about Roscoe's? Sounds terrible. <laughs> I'm not a grits person myself, but there's a ton of people who love love grits. Had to be done, didn't it? Just once, it's been twice. You got me on Kid Garoth, and you got me here. Alright, let's do a ready check. Um, we're gonna start on, for the DPS ads, we'll start on Star. What's up, Scott? How you doing, my friend? There's a lot of, a lot of food conversation going on right now, by the way. Nerds, do you want to start with uh, Asara over on Star, and I'll pick up Nora? Gotta make sure to gotta make sure to summon the Warrior Tank all the time. All right, cool. Eat your grit, son. Let's do a pull timer. It's got vitamins. One. We'll do do you want to do two stacks or three stacks, nerds? Your favorite food of all time is still vinegar-based barbecue. I mean, barbecue is just delicious in general. Uh, first thing we're going to have is wall. All right, good luck. Good luck to everyone with that wall. Uh, I think I'm going to have Norura for that so that I can just heroic leap over the wall. At least I hope so. Watch that blade storm coming back. Oh, let me uh, set him as focus. You try them, but you don't suspect they're going to be on your regular dietary comp composition. In terms of grits, grits aren't so much a taste as they are a texture. Four. They de I mean, the, for sure, they definitely have a taste. You put a little, a little square of butter on top of them. Um, but I'd say if you're someone new trying to taste grits, I would say the biggest challenge you're gonna face Beware. is the texture. Uh, let's jump in here. I'll hold a little bit more because we got the wall out. I'll hold to uh, four. Alright, hopefully I can find nerds now. Those nerds. Beware. I mean, I can probably take five. Oh, 
All right, back on track. Up next is going to be spread out. You'll live stream the befuddled Roscoe's meetup on IRL Twitch channel. I mean, you can live stream straight to YouTube as well via the uh, YouTube Creator Studio app, I believe. I think so. Alright, Nerds is up to two stacks. I also redid my UI a little bit, by the way, in case you guys were seeing that it was uh, a little too cluttered before. So I kind of redid things. We've got healing and damage meters up on the top left. We've got the raid frames right under it. My damage meter is way in the bottom. You guys can see the damage meter barely. I wasn't sure if you guys were going to be able to see that. I mean the threat meter. The threat meter, not the damage meter. Um, yeah, so I kind of redid a few things just to clear up a little bit of space. Oh, we've got the spread out ads. Got the spread out ads. Nuking some people. We lost. We lost three people. We've got two stacks right now. We'll wait for one more. About to go out on you right now. There it is. Uh, Chaos, if you have an Ankh... Actually, oh, I thought you were DPS because we have DPS ads. Yeah. I was going to say Ankh, but... Um, if you want to stay down, that's fine. But if you have an Ankh, Beware. Chaos, use it. Get a DPS up. We have DPS ads next. But, Chaos, if you have an Ankh, use it just for the... Uh, for the heals, because the DPS ads do also do a lot of AoE. What's a Roscoe's? Oh, the waffle place? Yeah, Roscoe's chicken and waffles. There's a lot of people that also really just enjoy going there only for um, buttermilk Four, biscuits. Three, two, one. Uh, biscuits and gravy. It's a, it's a buttermilk based gravy too, so the gravy isn't like, uh, like turkey gravy that you see on Thanksgiving. Everybody start on star. DPS the add on star. Actually, I see this one going down, too. Okay, maybe we have enough for split. Mm, it's not like the promising. Beware. Hopefully we don't get above something like seven or eight stacks. Up next, we're going to have fire. You already died and on? Oh, okay. It's all good. Cool. For sure, man. Six stacks, and that one's going to get its cast off. It's going to go up to seven. Beware. Uh, there it is. Seven. Oh, you guys got it down right before. Nice. Good stuff, everyone. All right, everybody out of the middle. Out of the middle. Start finding your place along the edge of the wall. Oh, did we get a... Oh, you AMS that off. I was wondering why your stacks were off. Everybody out of the middle. Beware. Sneaky nerds AMSing stuff off. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to have flames now. Let me get into this position over here. Somebody's going to die. I see two people in the middle. Or one person in the middle. Goodbye. Oh, it was a hunter. Alright, we're going to have the wall after this. And I think the wall is actually going to go off. Yeah, I think, I think the wall is actually going to have enough time to go off. We have that coming up in a minute. Actually, I got this going off. Third stack is about to go out on you. Where is it? All right. 
I am moving to position a little bit better. I don't have the cleave anymore. We do have the wall coming up. And the wall should be the last one. I, as long as we don't get those... Uh, the DPS adds again. Those are the ones that are terrible. When you, when you get the DPS adds twice, because you'll lose a few Four, people, your DPS will be a little bit short. Two, it sucks. One. But now we're going to have the wall. We should be good. I'll be able to leap over it. Let me take the next fiery strike. Actually, look at that. That ring of peace right there. Let me go over to Dima, taunt her off. And after this, this should have been the last one. We should be able to nuke this down before we get the next DPS adds. Which are actually coming a little bit faster than I like them to. Coming in about one minute. When the DPS ads come up, we are going to ignore them. If if we even get to that point. We have 30 seconds left. I don't think we're going to get to that point, but if we do, we'll just go ahead and ignore them. Alright, the DPS ads are coming up, but Coven went down right before they went up. Rats on Lego, someone got a Lego? Yeah, they did. Nice. Very nice. Sweet and sour chicken for barbecue. How does the rooting debuff work on this fight? Is it avoidable? The rooting debuff when you become a little ice cube, um, that one is a healing debuff that you get that people just need to heal you through it. So I actually track it right here. So on the weak auras, it's called chilled blood and you get this debuff and it has a certain healing amount depending on your rate size, depending on if you're doing normal heroic, they need to heal you. Um, and if, if they don't heal you, like, let's say they don't heal you at all, I think it stuns you for five seconds, and then as they heal you, the less that bub the less that absorption becomes, the less you're stunned for, so you could get stunned for one second, half a second, but, um, it's just a healing debuff that your healers need to be on. You're hosting Befuddled Con at the Rabbit Hole in North Park ne th next Thursday. I don't know what the Rabbit Hole, I don't know where North Park is. Just need to be healed up, yeah. Play Affliction Lock, just drain soul. I mean, they don't, that debuff doesn't go on the tank, but if it did, ignore pain. Whenever we would do uh, Heroic Sisters and you would get that, that healing debuff, that Eclipse of the Moon, I think it was called, um, I would save a full Rage Bar and just eat the whole Rage Bar for ignore pains when it would come out. You're hungry, you have hungry people to feed? For sure, STL. Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Giveaway. Yeah, STL. That's one that's one way of getting your your um your account back, my friend. Entering the giveaway. 
Let me let me do the copy copy pasta again. We'll be back in ten minutes for sure, Christian. All right, let's do Agrimar. Let's get these uh, raid markers here. We're gonna have green here, skull here, and moon over here, and circle over here. Nerds, do you want to tank the ad on moon or on circle? Okay. Oh, you'll do moon? Okay, that's fine. Uh, how many people do we have entered for this token? Oh, we've got a lot. We've got... I see 10 people. I see 10 people entered in here. For some reason, it entered me too. I think because of the copy-paste. And then I put the word giveaway in there. So if it draws me, I'll draw again. Am I talking through Discord? Yes, white boy. There is a... Yeah, there is a Discord in the description. I'm talking in both. So, like, right now, I have two different hotkeys. One is uh, sh just for the live stream, and the other one uh, is Discord and the live stream for both. So, yeah, if you if you want to join us in the Discord, you absolutely can. It's a little quiet in here right now, um, just because I just use it to call out, you know, immediate things like taunt offs or something like that. One in ten chance for you? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. If he wins, he hacks. I'll, I'll do a redraw, guys. I'll do a recount. Uh, Epic? Epic, where are you at? Why? Why are you AFK? Let's do a ready check. Let's spam his computer. There he is. There he is. He just woke up. You just never heal me or hear me in Discord. It's weird. Yeah, so like this is live stream. And then this is my Discord bind. Are you in here, white boy? No, is it is it set wrong? Okay, hold on, let me take a look. It should be fine. Do you guys not hear me in Discord? Oh, okay. All right. That's so weird. They don't hear me on Discord. Okay, let me let me reload Discord. I think it might have to do with the fact that I disconnected and reconnected my mic. Let me let me address this. All right, can you guys hear me now on Discord? Ah, okay. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. All right, everybody was ready. Let's get a pull timer going. Three, two, one. Beware. Yeah, it's since I since I reloaded my driver so many times trying to fix the audio issue, it messed up Discord. But we're good now. We're good. Classic epic. <laughs> He's just here to tank the ground. Beware. There's no ground to be tanked. You know, he'll step out. Two, one. That's why we need him for Argus. <laughs> Alright, everybody's gotta be stacking up on green. There it is. Second flame red. We're about to have intermission. He's about to hit that 80% mark right now. 
As soon as he hits 80, there it is. We're going to have intermission right now. So, nerds, you're going moon, you said? All right, nuke the ads. Nuke the ads, everyone. Get them down. Oh, nice grip. Nice grip on that ad. All right, got all those ads down. Perfect. Uh, now we're, oh, we're going to hero in the last phase. Everybody be careful with the tanks. If you walk over the tanks, you're going to get cleaved. That mage is fearless. That mage walked right over the tanks. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Uh, it looks like nerds is going to be holding. You're going to be holding it, nerds. And Neltharian's Fury, your foe breaker, doesn't do anything. Get out of here with that, Agrimar. Run away, little girl. Run away. <laughs> you made it. And you made it almost. We we've Brittany, we've been in need of healers this whole run. We've had healers that like just step out out of nowhere. We've had to look for healers three times now. We were we were waiting for you. How was your vacation? It wasn't it wasn't so much a vacation. I was just sick with the flu. I just Four, needed needed to get better. Two, um, one. so my vacation was full of full of lovely lovely germs and plenty of Dayquil and Robotussin. Uh, I hope you didn't get cleaved by that. No, we're good. Alright. We're about to hit that 40% soon. We're going to take that other flame rend right now. And here it is. And then we should be hitting 40%. Hopefully before the next ads come up. Or the next... Uh... Oh, that lag. Oh, that lag. There's that 40%. Perfect. You guys saw that texture even lasted a little bit longer in the ground. I was like, I hope I didn't hit it with this <laughs> lag I'm getting right now. Can you come for Argus? For sure, Brittany. Yeah, absolutely. Friday is food day and the bus makes it take forever. Nice. Food day. Spe you, you're like 10 minutes late. We were having a conversation all about food about 10 minutes ago. We were talking about all the foods. Next Friday will be on time for sure. Oh, also, I'll hit you with the copy pasta right now, but if you type in the word giveaway, you can be entered for the WoW token giveaway. We're doing that today for the month of January. Yeah, please. Got our lust going. There it is. Yeah, before you forget, giveaway. Perfect. These Pantheon trinkets go off like, four. I don't know, maybe like four or five times per fight. And sometimes, sometimes their timing is perfect. We were we were doing a heroic Agrimar, and I was really close to going down. Really close to death. And then the Pantheon trinkets proc. And all of a sudden, 100% HP. No problem. No big deal. Yeah, sometimes their timing is, is extremely, extremely good. 
Do you get to ninja yourself into Mythic Plus next Wednesday? It's your call. You guys can always ninja yourselves into the groups. I have the I have the names up there so you guys can just see it and kind of um, join in. But it's not ex Wednesdays aren't explicitly a uh, community day. Four, three, two, one. About to have that foe breaker go off right now. There it is. Let's go ahead and Eltharian's Fury. Alright, got that flame rend. And we should be. I don't think we'll go through another technique. Uh, we'll have this flame rend go off on us right now. We'll have to run out, run back in. But in terms of another technique, I don't think we'll get there. We should be hitting 4% before we get back to him. Yeah, no technique. He's down at 2%. Tries to type in giveaway. <laughs> It might have it might have entered you just by typing in that. I, it just reads the word giveaway in any sentence. Uh oh. What kind of helmet is this? 935. Do I not have another helmet? Oh, I have it on right now. Got it. There's no other warriors. No, the other warrior left. So let's go in. Let's go into the repair bill. Saw a new upload go go out about um, about GOW. Which GOW? Time for a repair bill here. I'm also gonna get a bag add on too. Trying to trying to simplify my UI. You have locks? Yeah, we're gonna get some locks in here. We'll get a warlock TV. Thank you for fun. Oh, one of our healers is stepping out. That's fine. That's fine. We got Brittany stepping in here. God of War. Oh, okay. Game of WoW. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. And Brittany, I know you like uh, the raid frames a certain way, so you have assist to reorganize those raid frames. We don't need another healer with you. Don't worry, guys. I got the ground. Oh, by the way, Brittany. Check out your emojis here in chat. Got a new one. Got a new one. For when we pray for the Pantheon trinkets to drop, we get that orange Jesus on here. What do you guys think, by the way? You guys, do you guys like the orange Jesus? I know Pug Life and Rip Key, part of the channel. Here to stay. That third emoji, you guys like the orange Jesus one? He refuses to drop the trinket for me. So we just need to get that um, Iron Jesus going in chat. Next week, Mythic Plus is going to be easy. Yeah, right. Teaming Necrotic. That is not a fun time for anyone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Getting a, little, getting a little close there. CC for days. Dig it? All right. Bagnon, put all your bags together. I'm gonna look into Bagnon. Groups of fakes for your weirdo brain. Good. All right, let's do some raid markers here. So we'll put skull over here. Put green, purple, and X. Actually, you know what? Let me swap purple and X. You haven't asked your guild yet to let you reorganize them? <laughs> how, how are you doing with your guild, by the way? How's the guild progression going? Alright, let's get a ready check. Addy bags. Oh. Okay. 
Bagnon puts all your bags together. Addy sorts if there are groups. I think I like the groups a little bit more. Not not six. <laughs> this was LFR. It is not LFR. It is normal mode. Alright. Everybody's ready. This this is a summon for me, isn't it? It's it's chaos. Yeah it is. Yeah it is. Alright. Let's get a pull timer going. Let's go. Let's see how this goes. We're gonna need people on orbs. We're gonna need uh, people to take the soul bomb and soul burst to the correct areas. All right. So for Argus, we have to guarantee our active mitigation uptime for the third scythe. Uh, although normal mode doesn't hit as much as no as uh, heroic does, but we're about to get that third scythe in a few seconds, so I'll throw on my active mitigation. There it is, perfect taunt off by nerds, and we got some of the buffs back here. Let me pick up haste. Everybody stacked up. Uh, you guys are gonna need to stack up just a little bit more. All right, I will taunt off at three. Oh, you're you guys, you guys are in the wrong over there. You guys got to move over. Invasive and chaos. Move over to the rest of the group. Oh, I thought you were sacred shammy. I'm sorry. My bad. Oh, we got an early uh, a taunt off at two. All right. All right, we got that cone of death. Oh, almost a ground tank there. I saw, I saw you, Ethic. I saw you almost tanking the ground there. You got a little close. You got a little close. Calling two wipes. Oh man, it seems like every week, every week we do two wipes, right? That seems like our norm. We get to Argus just fine. On Argus, two wipes. Ah, uh, let me go ahead and throw on Matharian's Fury. Oh, the nerds was in here. All right, we're about to hit that seventy percent. Everybody's got to collapse in, collapse in, collapse in. Uh, anybody too far away? Uh oh, oh, that hunter's a little too far. All right, so we're gonna drag over to Skull Nerds. I'm gonna let you get three. It's three before the bombs go out. So one more, and then he'll have to run to the back. Calling to wipe. Oh, no wipes. Brittany's on heels. We've got Brittany and Katie. That should be enough, right? Uh, two people are down. Demon Hunters. Our only two demon hunters are both down. Shouldn't they be able to fly away? Fly away from it all? Four, three, two, one. Actually, um. Nerd, you're gonna need. Nerd, you're gonna need to taunt off uh, as soon as you can. Nope, that was a little... Okay, we're going to have another soul bomb coming up in a few seconds there. As soon as my sights fall off. Brittany, still no, still no cloak? Four, three, two, Are we what? One. 
Um, no, not right now. Can you taunt off so I can get the bomb? Oh, it's gonna be heavy. Soul Burst and Soul Bomb stacked up on me. <laughs> yeah, you get daggers, I'll get the uh, the two-hander. Uh, we'll be fine. We have... We still have three healers up. Okay, we got her up. Gold person gets zero out of ten sunders. <laughs> you did Alifar and your Demon Hunter last night. Not so fun. I still have not done all of Alifar for Antorus. I was going over my armory page the other day, and I was like, I really I haven't completed all of Alifar. I normally do all of LFR to test out like my weak auras and stuff. There's daggers, here's blade. Yeah, you can stack daggers. Sunders killed you, reported. That's right. That's right, let him know the law applies to everyone. These last two are sad making. Yeah, I actually I did do Agrimar. I don't think I did Argus. I did Agrimar I think on my Alliance DK trying to get just trying to get loot, trying to get him geared up. But I, I remember doing Agrimar because he doesn't do Foe Breaker. He just does Flame Rend four times, which is which is super weird. Super weird that he does Flame Rend four times because he he ends up moving you all across the platform. It's just it's it's so weird. You need you need to start like in a really really good position in the platform. A mic keeps cracking. Yeah, man. I, they they let me know when this live stream started. I think this this headset's dying. Um, one of the two headphone or one of the two uh, yeah one of the two speakers on it doesn't work. And at this point, my other headset that I bought, the music bleeds in when I use it. So I'm going to this weekend get a uh, um, um an arm kind of like a boom arm for my other microphone, so I can use my my better microphone. Because right now, if I just put it on the desk that I'm on, you guys can hear every single key, key that I press. So I'm actually going to build that arm this weekend. So next live stream, I'll have a fancy mic arm. Your alts have done a few. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I've done Argus. I think I was just in there for Agrimar. I ran out of time. I had to go do something else. And I don't think I've done... Like the wing, the the wing before that, like uh, uh, what would it be like, Kindroth, Coven, and Bari? I don't think I've done that either. Dodge everything? No. It's a wipe. It's a wipe. All right, let me do. Because people have to run that bomb out, or else we wipe. Kick through Sunder. <laughs> Do we need to club together and get you a new mic? No, I have a I have a really good mic. Um, it's just if I put it on the desk that I'm on right now, you guys can hear every key clicking, and it's very annoying. So I need to fix that. And uh, nerds, nerds, let me know how to create an arm for your microphone. So I just need to do that. That's like a ten dollar IKEA lamp that you basically. Just do a little, a quick little hack. That's, well, yeah, you do a hack on an Ikea lamp and it becomes a, a really good mic arm. Four, three, two, one. Alright, Soul Bomb. Everybody out, everybody out. We also have to kill these orbs. Everybody DPS in the orbs? Perfect. Uh, you wanna do three? Want another lock? Oh, my bad. Get him blasted. 
that was the the phase three to phase four transition that you received there. It was a little a little too late. I'm sorry, my friend. We're gonna get soul burst happening in five seconds. And we got orbs up. So people DPS your orbs. Alright, reorigination module. Alright, that one should be going down soon as well. We do have Titan Forge. And oh we lusted early. Did we lust? Like on phase two or something? Kinda sucks. That nerd's so talented. Nerds is nerds is really good. Nerds can tank for you, or nerds can do really good DPS for you. Um, yeah, props out to nerds, man. I appreciate the flexibility he brings as well. Every time he's in a raid, he'll he'll tank, he'll go DPS, and he does a very good job at both. All right, we got the orbs up. We need some more DPS on the orbs. Oh, I see the I see the warlocks in there trying, just trying their best. Uh oh, that one got a little out of hand. Don't step in that. Everybody's got to move out of that. Tree is dying. Everybody, take your reses as quickly as you can. Tree's dead. We we're missing two people right now. Got it. Got to kill this with these. Uh, this is it. This is it. No more reses. We got two percent to go. We got the orbs coming up. We can tunnel if we want to. Come on, who's gonna get the Pantheon trinket? Who's gonna get the Pantheon trinket? I saw one. Lardy. Ah, Lardy's not in here. I don't think. Got myself a nice 9:45. Not necessarily optimized though. We'll see if anyone needs it. Wait, Chaos got one? Chaos got one. Nice. Yeah, I didn't see that Chaos had looted one, but we got two. Two Pantheon trinkets. Nice, man. The Lego, tr the Lego trinket isn't real. I have yet to see it drop as well. Have not seen that Lego trinket drop. And he builds mic arms, yeah. So this is my other mic. And like when I do recordings on videos, I use this mic. Got a nice pop filter on it. Um, but if I put this on my desk, it's so sensitive that every time I press a key, you guys can hear it. So by using an arm and attaching it to the end of my desk over here, um, I should be able to use it relatively well. Do I need that fire relic? No. We'll see who needs it. Sweet, sweet AP. If you win the giveaway, you'll check back on the Discord. Got to go? For sure, get a blasting. For sure. Giveaway's got about another 40 minutes till it ends. Right? Let me check the bot. 40 minutes. Yep. Uh, looks like Keldan. Keldan, where are you? Did you leave? Oh, here you are. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. That was a good run. Death Star selected. You got a 19 button mouse? Oof. <laughs> but your healing is way better. No, I just use I use simple mice. Black Temple? No, no Black Temple this week. See you next week for sure. Um, Black Temple got scaled up. I haven't walked in there yet. For me, the, the mice I use just have uh, two buttons on the side. Those are the two buttons. Uh, and then just the mouse wheel. And so I'll use those two buttons in conjunction with like shift buttons. Mouse wheel in conjunction with shift buttons. Autofocus isn't working anymore. Uh, come on. There it is. Nope. Let's go back to the other focus. 
Let's see, who stuck around? For those of you guys who stuck around, do you guys want to do heroic for a little bit? You have to get going? Okay. Alright, a lot of people have to step out for heroic. Alright, we'll see. Well, let's see if we can get a group going then. Start a group. I am saved, so I'll have to use someone's lockout. But, let's see. We've got, we've got a little bit of time. We can probably do the first two bosses. Uh, fresh. You cleared to council on Troggle last night? I mean, it's been buffed up, right? That was my understanding, is that um, Black Temple got buffed up and that uh, with like the Old World revamp, it's actually relatively difficult now. We one-shot Reliquary with mainly virgins. They all listen, paid attention. That's good. Have 18 button mounts. What are we doing now? Yeah, we'll run into Hero for a little bit. We can probably get the first two bosses down. You put the pick of the arm in Discord along with Whataburger? Yeah, you did. I could see it. You heal it if you go. For sure. It was a good group. This morning's group run. Couldn't get past Reliquary. Ouch. Black Temple is like old Black Temple. Ow, man. That's, that's rough, dude. Old Black Temple was not easy. Need me on heals or DPS? Pick one. It is hard and unforgiving. Good to be home. Brittany, how's your new how's your new raid guild going? I know I know they're full heroic. Are you guys uh, progressing through mythic? Have you have you walked into any mythic with them? Alright, let's see. We gotta get more DPS in here. That's all we really need. Just deeps. Olduar? No, isn't Olduar... Oh, wrong one. Olduar is in like two weeks or something. Uh, Time Walking Dungeon ends... It didn't start this week, did it? This week is Burning Crusade. Yeah, Black Temple. Um... There it is. Uh, it'll be the week of uh, oh, the week of Valentine's. So, Olduar is Wrath of the Lich King, so it won't start till then. Will I do it then? Uh, maybe. I used to raid Olduar way back when, so I would need a small refresher on the fights, and then try to uh, walk in there, see how that goes. But I would for sure need a, a little refresher. Oh, that's why I didn't change this to heroic. That makes sense. Can your 940 warrior join? Yeah, absolutely, Chris. Queue up. Queue up and I'll invite you, man. They used to be hardcore mythic, but they stepped back to heroic. So Tuesday's heroic, Thursday's PvP, Sunday alt day. Thursday PvP day? That's a cool, that's a cool thing to do. You're going to step out and just watch your niece killing you for sure, Katie. I appreciate you joining. This autofocus. I kept trying to re-enable it right now. Look, it's all close. Come back. Come back, autofocus. There it is. All right. I like it when p people whisper me AOTC and then they immediately delist. Logging on right now? For sure, man. Yeah, they do RBGs. Oh, wow. Okay. That is really cool. Sunday alt day. Your boyfriend is there, too. So double the fun. Oh, okay. You were able to join the same guild? That's good. 
that's good. It means your raid times are the same. That always helps. First time walking you did, you strutted in there expecting to be all P and you died many times. Yeah. Um, I've heard a lot of people have been having trouble with the time walking this week. Just a normal time walking like dungeons. I'm not talking about Black Temple. But I've heard a lot of people have had a lot of issues because you can't go in there and pull everything all at once anymore. You gotta be, uh, you gotta be cautious with your pulls again. We're not getting anyone to join. I think it's because my lockout is completely locked out, but I'm writing fresh here. TBC is TBC. They nu they nuked it down to where it is. And I think I think the most difficult part for people is the time walking dungeons are the hardest heroics there were, right? You have Shattered Halls, you have uh, Architraz, you have um was it was it called Architraz? I think so, right? You have uh Slave Pens, you have Magister's Terrace. Like, the most difficult heroic dungeons of the time are the ones that we walk into now. So it's going to be, it's going to be difficult. Maybe because of my lockout? I think so. Here. Uh, wait, are you completely locked out, Brittany? I know you said you raid Tuesdays. There it is. We're getting some people. You love Architraz? Slate Fence is easy. Here's the thing. Architraz has huge aggro radiuses. I mean, just, just you know... The Void Walker room, um, even just just the beginning is kind of difficult to get through if you don't know the if you don't know the gauntlet, it's difficult to get through. But Architraz has huge aggro radiuses, something that that most people are not um, are not used to. So that's that's a big one that's going to catch people off guard. Slave pens is difficult because of the amount of trash, and it isn't like you go down a hallway or you can hug a wall. Like for slave pens, you're running in between all this trash. So if you don't know how to run in between it and you don't know what your aggro radius is, you're going to end up pulling a bunch of nonsense, right? A bunch of stuff you don't need. So slave pens is difficult because of that. And then we have um, Shattered Halls was always just a hard-hitting dungeon. And it still is. If your tank isn't careful, um, Shattered Halls has a lot of mechanics that stun your tank. So... If your tank isn't careful, the moment they get stunned, if they get stunned and they're like at 30-40% HP, they're going down. There is no, there is no need. Um, wait, so Brittany, do you have a fresh lockout? Actually, oh, who's isn't here anymore? Maybe switch lockout? Yeah. We'll be tanking it ten, ten times later. Yeah, you're locked from the guild? Sure. Shattered Halls is the hardest, you reckon? I think Shattered Halls and Magister's Terrace. Magister's Terrace has a lot of magic casters. And, uh, oh, you have a fresh lockout? So, Chaos. If you could hit, uh, reset all instances, that'd be great. I'll start running over. Uh, Magister's Terrace has a lot of magic casters, so there's there's groups that don't collapse and a lot of magic damage on your tank. And magic damage on tanks is always going to hurt. There's like there's no way around it. It's always going to hurt. So Magister's Terrace is very difficult, but I would say Magister's and um, Shattered Halls are for sure the two hardest ones. But you just got to learn how to pull the place. That's all. Oh, there it is. Instantly getting more people applying. Look at that. Now we filled out the group. <laughs> it was a lockout. You can write fresh. Unless you're a DK. Even four DKs. Like, you have AMS. But AMS is, what, five, six seconds? In a dungeon where every pull has at least one magic caster. And they don't stop casting. Like, they don't take a break in melee. If you interrupt them... They'll get interrupted for five or six seconds and start casting again. Your AMS is only going to go so far. It's like my spell reflect. It only goes so far. I can use it every now and then. On the pulls that have two or three um, 
two or three magic casters, that's going to be an issue. Um, because I'm going to run out of spell reflect eventually. Just like you'll run out of AMS eventually. Chaos, and can you set it to heroic, by the way? I guess there's some really anxious people wanting to run in already. When, when whenever we get lead back assist, oh for sure. Set rate to mythic. You can't. We're cross realm. You can't. Heroic for sure. Thank you. Magistrus is awesome. I I would disagree. I remember when Magistrus came out. I hated it. Hated it because you have to LOS pull everything, and not everything can be LOS pulled. There are some pulls that. There's no corner to go around. And then I remember the uh, that boss fight. We used to call it the PvP boss fight. But that boss fight in Magisters where there's no aggro. Things just kind of bounce around. Let's see. Um, it should be like the, this one. Priestess. Because she's got all the minions. And they did all the things that, you, that, that used to annoy you. Like, oh, you don't like it when you get... Um, Serpent Sting by a Hunter. Well, this one's got Serpent Sting, and he's got traps. And the Warlock loves to fear you. And he's also got a, a Succubus that can seduce you. And, you know, there's just everything. What else do you need? That, yeah, that's here too. Yeah, but as a DK, you have Grip, Mind Freeze, Anti-Magic, and Mass Grip in case of emergency. That's very true. You have a lot more things going for you than, say, a Warrior. Let's see, is everybody... Oh, okay. You're in the Windrunner Sanctuary. You can't be in there. You're not allowed in there. Alright, everybody else is in. Except for this person. Get a summon going there. Your cloak, you don't have it, but now you don't want it. Oh, nice. You got 960 Drape of Shame, so it's like... <laughs> got it. That's not really worth it except for Mythic Plus. You gotta push that Mythic Plus score, Brittany. I, I started looking at my Raider IO and I started seeing at other people in my realm and I was like I can compete against these people and I was like I was number eight warrior tank and I was like hold on hold on if I just do these other keys I'll get bumped up and I did a few of the keys and now I'm number four prop warrior and number one he's oh man he's crazy oh, let me get you in here man treesus Uh, are these any of you guys? No, okay. Um. Oh, I'm leads again. Alright, let me give Brittany assist. Alright, Brittany, you should have assist now. Yeah. But you also have. Strangle Frost. <laughs> Those names. Oh, Asphyxiate? Yeah. But you love Quarter Stars? I hate Quarter Stars. I, I hate it with a passion. That is a one key. When people are like, you want to run Quarter Stars? No. Nope. I would much rather run Cathedral. Any day. I'm, I, like, I, I, I can do Cathedral. This don't make me do a quarter stars. That explains why you like hard stuff. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm not a fan of quarter stars. Yo, you can invite me. Yeah, I got you in here, Chris. Got you, man. You did a 15 last night in COS? I mean, once you know the dungeon, it's not that terrible, and I'm getting to know the dungeon more and more as I'm trying to push my Mythic Plus score a little bit more. Still not a fan of it, though. Still not a fan. But if you if you know the dungeon, it seems like a, like a short dungeon. I think it's because I pug a lot of keys and COS... Um, if you get a pug who doesn't know how to watch his cleave or where to run, you can end up pulling 
like the whole thing and and in cos if you do one wrong pull like if you body pull something to the side i mean it's gonna be a wipe it's gonna be you know it, it's something substantial the trash in cos is substantial like everything carries a big weight to it there were only three iffy pulls in cos because oh because of bolstering yeah for sure like your imps your imps are gonna be iffy every time with bolstering I did Arcway this week too, and Arcway with bolstering, <laughs> Arcway with bolstering is rough. The rats and the spiders, they'll get you. We had a rat with like 15 stacks of bolstering in there. Imps and mana worms. Oh, that's right, yeah, mana worms. The COS trash is substantial with the current affixes. It's trash before bosses, yeah. This week is all about trash. Next week, next week is gonna be—it's gonna be a little of both, actually. Next week we have teaming, necrotic, and tyrannical. So tyrannical, tyrannical makes boss fights difficult. Like it doesn't matter if you have anything else stacked up on it, but you're gonna have necrotic and tyrannical. Uh, why? <laughs> Why is he summoning me? I'm here. But yeah, Tyrannical makes any week difficult, and then you're going to have Necrotic on top of that. But then for Trash, you're going to have Teeming Necrotic Trash. I mean, if it was Teeming Necrotic Fortified, I think we would all quit for the week. But I think that's one of the... I think Teeming Necrotic Fortified is one of the combinations that can't exist. I think Blizzard said, like, no. That's not going to be a thing. You had a Rep Pally and a Warlock, so good AoE stuns. Oh, nice, yeah. If you coordinate your stuns, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. Did you did you grind out your AOTC max? Were you guys able to get down that Coven? Cause I know that heroic Coven gets difficult. You remember you said to the group, trash is the boss this week? Yeah. Basically. Beware. You got some LOLs, dude. It's true. Teaming Necrotic Fortified for President. Oof. You're on the last boss? Nice. What's your, what's your best attempt on Argus? Oh, by the way. How are you liking tanking the ads Beware. in Phase 3? They're just, those guys are relentless, man. Especially the, the, the two-handed sword guy. The two-handed sword ad in phase three on Heroic, he's going to wreck you, man. He just, uh, I, <laughs> every time I tank him, I just start rotating all my cooldowns. I'm like, this guy is just going to destroy me. The next attack could be the one shot. 44%. Yeah, and they switch. Yep. That's the hard part, the fact that they switch. Uh, so one, one thing that we were doing, Max, that helped us progress through that part is um, as soon as the ads in Phase 3 come up, we lust and everybody goes on the uh, the northmost ad and we have to kill that ad before any other ads get the weapons. So we have about 5 to 6 seconds to nuke one boss with lust. And then, and then that makes it so that you have less, what is it, cosmic beacon to interrupt? So you have less things to interrupt at that point. I don't think Swamp is coming. We'll uninvite Swamp. So that really helped us. Is it me or did Ragnarok steal the, the Legion helmets? Ragnarok online? You know Ragnarok Online actually went to mobile? I had never played the original one, but I tried playing the mobile one. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Ghetto Blastin, you made it back, man. We've got like 16 minutes till the giveaway. Four, three, two, one. Four, three. Four. 
The movie. Oh, the movie. Yeah, I haven't seen the Thor Ragnarok movie. <laughs> Brittany was was on that um, Armageddon. It was close. It was close. It's okay. You enjoyed it. I heard. I actually heard good reviews from it. Um, I think I'm having a Marvel movie overdose though. I'm very selective of which ones I watch now. I think there's just there's just so many. Three, two, one. Like, I, I think they should be doing it a little bit. Oof, Brittany, that was close. I think they should be doing it a little bit more like uh, like Disney is handling Star Wars, you know? Three, one every year. Two. But, I mean, who can argue with uh, the amount of money that they're making? It's an above average Marvel film. That's good. That's what we're missing. We're missing more above average Marvel films, I feel. Have you guys seen the trailers for Anthem? That game looks badass. No, man. I have not. I saw you on Diablo the other day, though, Max. Still enjoying that grind? Are you doing seasons, or are you just... just grinding? Grinding a regular character. on the hamster wheel that is Diablo. You live dangerously? I can tell. You keep going left. You keep going left with the Four, tanks. You like living on the edge. Two, one. You're completed with your season? Nice. Oh, did you, you did like all the uh, dungeons and, and what have you and all the goals and... Four. All your season season goals. You've been enjoying playing multiple games. Nice. What else are you playing right now? It's being published by EA, so you're hesitant. Ouch. EA's track record in the past, what, two years? If we count 2018 and 2017? EA's track record, you know, went to, went to the trash, man. It just, it sucks, man. It sucks. I remember, I remember growing up, you would put in your cartridge and wait for that EA. It's in the game. You would wait for that. And now people hear that and they're like, ugh. Four, three, it's EA. Two, I hate one. this. Different worlds, man. Different worlds. Final Fantasy XIV. Swotor, WoW, and some vanilla, vanilla WoW. Four, three, I never did Swotor. I had a friend who did a lot of Swotor. Yeah, I had a buddy of mine who did a lot of Swotor. But he says that when, uh, when they released Jedi's, he said the game just took a turn for the worse because if you're not a Jedi, then you're gimped in PvP. So I don't know how much weight that still holds in current days. The one game that I always want to go back to is ESO. ESO was really fun, but I never got like into a clan or into a guild or anything, so I never really did anything endgame, but even just leveling was very fun in ESO. That's one game that, that I would probably want to go back to. EA was the shit? Yeah, man. Way back when. The cartridge days. There is no end game. Oh, oh, Final Fantasy three. Nice man. Yeah, if I go back, oh, I don't have it here anymore. If I go, oh wait, is it here? 
when I go back to like different franchises, uh, yeah. Let me see if I can if, if it'll adjust. If I'm doing other franchises, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest franchise. This is Dragon Quest Seven. I also have eight for my uh, my 3DS here. Oh, come on, focus, focus again, camera. There it is. So I have um, Dragon Quest Seven, Dragon Quest Eight. I have uh, the Monster Hunter for the DS, although I haven't played it too much. I don't have a PS4 for Monster Hunter Online though. But the other franchise I enjoy a lot is also Dragon Quest and um, and I, I still play uh, Pokemon Go as well. I enjoy the Pokemon franchise as well. Swotor isn't Star Wars Galaxies. No, I know. Yeah, Star Wars Galaxies was different. It was shut down. Um, and in Star Wars Galaxies, you could be anything you wanted to. You could be a bard if you wanted to. Uh, you could just hang out. Was... Star Wars Galaxies seemed like a, like a very cool game. And I didn't play it because at the time I played a lot of WoW. Look at that meter. 1 million HPS. Nice. You shook the rust off. Dragon Quest is the goat. I love me some Dragon Quest. Like if I'm talking about um, RPGs, I didn't do too much Final Fantasy. Uh, the Final Fantasy I played the most of was Final Fantasy X. Uh, but uh, yeah, I used to play a lot of uh, I used to play a lot of RPGs. My Dreamcast. My Dreamcast was my favorite console. And my top RPG was Grandia 2. Grandia 2 was, was the one that did it for me. I also played Evolution 1 and 2 for my Dreamcast. But Grandia for sure took the prize. It had a really good, almost, it was almost turn-based. But you could have a stat. You had a, a speed stat that actually made your terms, your turns come in faster or slower. Depending on that stat. So you had, you know... Regular gear, regular, almost turn-based combat. Um, your spells would upgrade over time, and um, I really like the combat. You can have it be action if you wanted to, but I would play the the more turn-based oriented one. If we're doing hounds, for sure, get a blasting. Send me a, a whisper or do to brown. We'll put up TV after trash for sure. You had a buddy try to get you into galaxies. You were heavy addicted into WoW. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what did it for me too. I had a few. I knew like one or two people that played galaxies. Not too many, but I was very heavy into WoW. Um. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and then like for Dreamcast, I never had the. Uh, the Ethernet adapter, so I never did like PSO, like Fantasy Star Online. Although I had like the demo disc. Sure, we'll get a baddie in here. Legend of Dragon was your first RPG, and you were hooked ever since. I've never heard of Legend of Dragon. Where, what console was that on? I remember the first game I played that really blew my mind. Like, I remember I, I grew up on, like, I don't know, Super Mario World, and um, I grew up on Super Nintendo. So Super Mario World and, uh, like, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country 2, um, all those things I really grew up on. But the first game that really blew my mind, I want to say it was when we got our first PC, was one of the Panzer Dragoons. So whatever it was, which, whichever Panzer Dragoon it was that I played on my Windows 95 was the first game that really just blew my mind. All the other games before that were pretty standard. I mean, you had like Mortal Kombat, you had uh, Street Fighter, 
you had Killer Instinct, uh, Super Mario World, the regular Super Mario series, Donkey Kong. You know, you had all these all these other ones, but the first one that really just Panzer Dragoon. You had a Dreamcast on all you played was Crazy Taxi. I, I had a Dreamcast and I had the pedal and the, the steering wheel. And my brother used to slam that pedal. I don't know if you remember, for Crazy Taxi, in order for you to get boost, you would need to slam the pedal twice. So whatever whatever button you use for, for, for accelerator. So my brother would slam the hell out of that accelerator pedal. And so the pedals broke. So we could end up playing with the wheel and the wheel had uh, pedal shifts. So we could pedal shift. But we didn't have pedals anymore. You liked RTS and Diablo 1 when it when you were in high school? In high school, I played uh, Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike, and I started WoW. Some random RPG, you don't even remember what it was called on a... Uh, You loved Crazy Taxi in the arcade. It was a good game. A game I used to play a lot of too. I would go over to uh, my cousin's house and he had a GameCube. I didn't have one. He had Super Mario Sunshine. That was a really good game that I never got to play all of. Super Mario Sunshine. You were a sergeant when WoW came out? Oh, okay. My, your boyfriend wants to know if I like Fallout. I have never played any of the Fallout series, but that's not because of any ill will. Like, I don't... I just never, never played him. I've heard uh, New Vegas was a lot better than the more recent one, right? I tried playing Bioshock 2 at one point. It's just kind of weird, like, walking around, shooting up. <laughs> it gives you powers. These creepy... Creepy little girls. I'm not good with uh, with horror games, but no Fallout. I've I've never played it, uh, but nothing against the series. Just never got into it. You had the steering wheel for the N64 and played uh, Vigilante V8 with it. I had never had a steering wheel for the N64. You've been playing D3 doing seasons, done with Chapter One. Nice. I did like four of the Diablo seasons and then do the rest of them. Uh, where is Nerd? Nerd, you doing the uh, Shadow Hound? Cool. Thank you, thank you. You're missing out if you don't play Fallout 3 or New Vegas. I've heard New Vegas was very, very good. He also wants to know the name of your marker add on OPI. Just O and Pi. So it's for markers. Like, this is world markers, this is uh, markers on people's heads. And then you can do like uh, professions, mounts, you can do all sorts of things. I just have those two bound, but OPI. Yeah, no problem. Alright, let's get a pull timer going. Everybody was ready. Let's get these spell hounds down. I feel like I need to do another add-on video because I've changed quite a few add-ons since my last one I made, so that might be next on the list. Three, two, one. Oh, you guys gotta be careful. Got that tree. Tree getting close. And this is a fire hound. can catch on fire, little tree. Don't do it. I've also got a demon hunter over here. Three, two, one. Max, Max, are you gonna carry my DK, my Alliance DK, for some for some free gear? I'll roll unholy. I'll do like 300k DPS as unholy. Actually, I should be able to pull maybe 400, maybe 500, but I don't have any good relic. Three, two, one. 
Aw, oh, they're standing in here to help me split it! How considerate of them. Alright, we can't let Brittany win in healing, okay? So we just... We gotta do healing right now. We gotta focus on this healing. I'm gonna be Brittany. Person can get feared, and I want them to be standing in for that. Should you ninja pull DH? Oh, the demon hunter? Yeah, you probably. Yeah, there's a demon hunter and a hunter that keep coming over here to help me break fear, which is appreciated. All right, Brittany, I got you. I got you on healing now. I gotta keep it up. I gotta keep this above one million up. Oh, the demon hunter died out here. I just realized he was trying to soak with me. I'm not used to people soaking with me. Three, two, one. Beware. Guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna be Brittany and healing. Beware. Got this. One. Uh, let's go ahead and block this. Perfect. We're gonna get the fear relatively soon, so we'll save our Berserker Rage. Raffle close. Katie is the winner. Katie, I don't know if you're still here. I know you had your knee was hurting, you were all banged up. So if you are here, you can claim your prize. If you're not, I can give it to you at a later time. But Katie, congratulations. You get your next month of WoW for free. And shout out to Christian for sponsoring this giveaway. So, all props go out to Christian. He has sponsored like the last eight tokens that we've given away on this channel, if not even more. So, shout out to Christian. I appreciate it. And Katie, congratulations. You're here? Nice. If you could make a character on Horde on Draenor uh, in Orc, that would be great. And then I'll meet you over there as soon as this boss is done. There it is. Boss went down. So, make it on the realm Draenor. And I'll meet you over there. Alright, let me know everybody. I mean, let me let everybody know. Oh, that's cool. I hadn't seen that drop yet. So look at that. Nerds is done with all his DK legendaries. And he actually got the Paladin token. Yeah, see that? Got the, the Paladin legendary token. That's cool. Just doing heroic cooldown for sure. For sure. I'll swap over. Beat me, you were oom. If you didn't go oom, you would have won. I got it, guys. 1.17 million. Toss it here. Alright, Batty's gonna lead. Uh where is Batty? Uh there he is. For sure, guys. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. And we were on a bit of a hiatus. I was getting over my sickness. I'm back, so that, sh that should be it for flu season. I don't want round two of flu season. So, I mean, I really do appreciate you guys stopping by and helping us down normal, downing a little bit of heroic as well. So next week, we'll be back to the regular scheduled content. We'll be back with Wednesday Mythic Plus, even though next week's going to be difficult. Teaming, necrotic, and tyrannical 
It's going to be a tough week. And if you guys would like to join my Discord and chat with me uh, at any given moment, you guys can go ahead and join that Discord. It's in the description link down below. And every Friday, if you guys want to join me, um, we do these runs. And I need to get on my Alliance gearing game and gear up my Alliance DK so that we can do some alliance runs so i need to get on that i'll probably clear all of lfr and try to go through normal to get my tier set which is a big stepping stone on draenor yes on draenor an orc now you have to make a pally alt any progress on the coin store not yet so what i've been doing lately is uh i don't know if you were on oh yeah you were on patreon so I have the Patreon show now, so in the beginning of every month, if you guys are a part of my Patreon, at the, at the first week of every month, I put out a Patreon exclusive show where I talk about the videos you guys are going to get, and I get you guys to do a vote as well. Um, so I've been incorporating that. I've been uploading a little bit early because as of right now, every video that I've uploaded for the past month, I want to say, has been demonetized. So... I've been trying to be about two or three days ahead of upload schedule so that I can request a manual review and get them monetized again. So that kind of sucks, but no, no progress on the coin store. I did the emoji so far. Do you announce that since you missed that maybe? No. So right now we've got the new RNGesus emoji. We've got the Patreon show at the beginning of the month. Uh, Patreon exclusive videos are dropping. They got two this month. Um, they're gonna get Heroic Argus. I recorded my audio, I need to do the video editing for it, for Heroic Argus. Um, yeah, I've been kinda, I did redid my UI. Let me know, Katie, when you log on. Send me an invite, Katie, when you log on, on Draenor. What is the price of a current WoW token? Let's see. Is it 170? I checked before the live stream, and I think it was 170. One seventy three. So, Katie, I am going to give you one hundred seventy four K. Cool stream as always. Glad you're back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm back, feeling better. I think this is Katie. Same in invite if this is you, Katie. And since this is the end of the month. For next month, Christian has also already sponsored the WoW token giveaway. So um, next month, uh, after after the first week, I'll announce which week we're going to do the WoW token giveaway on. I said 174. Let me check again. 174. 174. And congratulations, Katie. You won a WoW token. Get a new background decoration to accompany RNGesus. Jesus. Oh yeah, the tree's gone. That changed since the last time I had a stream. It'll probably be the mic. The mic will probably be right here. All up on my face. Alright guys, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. It was a very, very good outcome despite the one week hiatus on my behalf. Uh, thank you for being patient with me and waiting for that sickness to to just completely go away. So thank you guys and thank you guys for stopping by again next week, Mythic Plus and this uh, community day live stream. If you guys would like to check out my Patreon to do to see that exclusive Patreon show first week of the month and get your exclusive Patreon videos, go ahead and check that out and join the Discord community. We've got quite a few people in there now. And there's conversation every now and then that you guys can join in on. You guys can link your logs, link anything you want to. Uh, I know me and Demon Hunter were having quite the conversation, I believe, yesterday. So uh, go ahead and stop by. Once we get to 300 people on our Discord, then I can actually request a community link. So then whenever you want to link that Discord to someone, it can just be discord.gg slash befuddledgaming. So that's a cool goal to reach up to. And then once we get two more sponsors for the live streams, we will get another custom emoji as well. So very close to very big things. And 
2018 just started. We hit 1 million views. Thank you guys. We'll see what we'll see what we can hit by the end of this year. I will see you guys on Wednesday.